Holy! <laughs> hey guys, you guys started a hype train already! Thank you! Thank you so much! I <laughs> see <laughs> so you guys are quick as ever with the channel point redeems! <laughs> Thank you guys so much, so much for, for subbing and resubbing. Osiris Hunter, thank you for two months. Noes, thank you for 14 months. Toji Fushi Guru, thank you for subbing. Welcome. Agent Ansel, thank you for seven months. Colton, thank you for 14 months. Kind Pony, thank you for two months. Zarvon Kaiser, thank you for six months. Thank you. Wolf, thank you for the gift sub. Neferton, thank you for 11 months. Thank you. Geronimo, thank you for the biddies. Hawkeye, thank you for six months. Oh my god. Usami Tan, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Hello, hi, Wolf hi, Gaming. Hi, 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 thank you for the biddies. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. <laughs> A soy sauce, senpai. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy! Thank you for the prime sub. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Dream more. Dream more. Thank you for subbing. Welcome. Chill, chill, hype train. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Almost level three. Let's go! Thank you! <laughs> what have you guys been up to? Just waiting again? You guys are really cute while the stream is starting, by the way. With your your Cinder Six Rave Cinder Six tail. <laughs> I I see it by the way. I just I just watch you. I just watch you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Thank you for the ten gifted subbies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's right. A brand new week. Brand new <laughs> leaderboard. <laughs> it's gonna be a a bloodbath today. <laughs> it's gonna be a battle. No fighting. I don't condone fighting here. You've been having a terrible day. Can I please have a virtual hug? Yo, same, bro. <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> you no, know, you're not late. We just got started. XCF ones. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you. Playing Smash? No. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> if y'all know me, y'all know I am not the biggest fan of that game. And I refuse to play it unless Ani comes to the game. That's the only way you'll get me to play it. Or if my mods beg that one time. <laughs> that was just that once. Yeah, we play in Rainkel today! <laughs> it's been far too long. I, I've been dying to play it ever since it came out. I've been dying to play it ever since I heard about the, the announcement when the game... Hey Cinder, will you be at the TwitchCon next year? Next or any year? con in Europe? Uh, I'm not sure. That's, that's very far in advance for me to know for sure. But I always update you guys as soon as I know when I'm able to uh, go to Let's these go. cons for sure. Usami too! Thank you for 3,000 bits! Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you! So, um, yeah, Rain Code. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't been here, um, you might not have heard me talking everybody's ear off about it. Um, I've been lucky enough to avoid spoilers, so I'm pretty much going in blind with the game. But it is very similar to Danganronpa, if you don't know what Danganronpa is. It's one of my all-time favorite franchises, game series, anime, you name it. Um, it's like a murder mystery 
killing game kind of vibe. And there's trials where you need to collect evidence and defend your case to uh, determine who the real killer is. And there's a bunch of those, and by the end, it's like your goal is to survive. Yippee! Yeah, yippee! We, we love survival. <laughs> it's a little bit different, though. It's not quite... I don't think it's a killing game. I think it's more of the detective route. But it has the same art style as Danganronpa, which I absolutely adore. There's a character that looks like the main villain in this game as Danganronpa. So I'm really, really, really excited. It's been... Literally the game I've been most excited for all fucking year. <laughs> and... I couldn't play it when it came out. So things have just been getting pushed back further and further and further because... Just the, the way things unfortunately had to work out. I think it came out during... Offkai? And if you know, that was like at the start of the convention gauntlet. I had Offkai Expo and then I had... Uh, I had my my one year stream anniversary and then the weekend after that was Anime Expo and then I flew directly from Anime Expo to TwitchCon Paris and then right after that I had this new model debut. So things have been pretty, pretty crazy and unfortunately I haven't had the chance to play it because there's been so, so many other things going on. So I said, you know what? I've had a day. I want to hang out with my pyro pups playing this game that I've been super hyped to play. And if you guys were here for the Genshin Impact uh, stream, the last Genshin stream we had, where we were checking out Fontaine, the Archon Quest actually had a murder mystery chapter in it, which was really, really cool. And a lot of you guys seemed interested in, in, in solving that case. So, if you guys enjoyed that, then you guys are definitely gonna love this game. Although, granted, I don't know that much about it. I saw, like, one trailer, and that's all I needed to see. <laughs> but I decided I wanted to play it. But I know it's detective. Detective mystery. And it has a Danganronpa art style. That's pretty much all I know about it. But, um... No spoilers. Just, just prefacing this now. Please no spoilers. Please no backseating. I really want to experience this game as a first timer. No helpers, please. <laughs> spoilers is awesome. Oh no! Banned! Banned! <laughs> Time out! <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> uh, uh, for legal purposes, that's a joke. Mods, that's a joke. <laughs> I'm super, super excited. And I'm glad you guys are here. Holy moly, you guys are keeping I the hype I know this was a while ago, but I wanted to say congratulations on the GG Subs Cup campaign. Thank you, Wedgie! Cinder 6 Pyro Blue, Cinder Thank 6 Pyro you. Blue. And because that was such a success, we are now working on my Gamer Subs flavor! My very own flavor! <laughs> I've been keeping the exact details a uh, surprise, but uh, there have been some pyro pups talking about their ideas on what they think it's going to be in my Discord server. <laughs> so stay tuned. It is something that takes a while to get ready and get perfect. So it'll be it'll be here in in the future. Not necessarily the the immediate future. Distant future. Hmm. <laughs> Peach mango flavor? That's actually brand risk. It's one of my favorite gamers of flavors. But they do have peach mango. <laughs> Yummy. Holy moly, hold on, give me a second, you guys. You guys are going so fast. Uh, Vishush Phantasm. Thank you for subbing. Welcome. Usami, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Dongar Spaniel. Thank you for four months. Dark Ranger. Thank you for two months. Insert Anime. Thank you for two months. 
Fury Dragon, thank you for three months. Thank you guys so much for resubbing. Gryzalia, thank you for four months. Dirty Dwarb, thank you for resubbing for five months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, thank you for ten gift subs. Thank you so much again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no backseat, no backseating. Hmm. Firewolf? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Firewolf! There it is! I was like, I didn't hear any big alerts! Holy shit! That's a lot of bits! What the fuck? 25,000 biddies? Do you... Do you realize that that's a lot of biddies? That's a lot of biddies! Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Easy there, what do you mean? Tell that to the pyro pups going hard and my my leaderboard. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Holy shit. Rocky, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rocky. Shadow Wolf, 25 months? You've been here forever. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. say, thank you for the tier 3 resub. Thank you for two months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Vault of X stuff. Thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you. You guys, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. And Flunce, thank you for more biddies. Thank you, thank you guys. What the heck? We just got started. Thank you. I feel like you can cook a steak when you put it next to my tail. People like to s to ask if they can roast marshmallows on my t on my tail and my ears, and that's it. Hopefully, that's that's it. Don't even. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking, and the answer is no. So can you? Only on the ears and tail. Yes. Only if I can have one too. Please? 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 Not on my feet! No! Don't even think about it! Just because I have fire there. Doesn't mean <laughs> that's what it's for! It's not for cooking purposes! <sighs> Only for branding you when you want to be stepped on. That way you can live in shame forever knowing that you're degenerate enough to want a, a hellhound wolf anime girl stepping on you. And then everybody's gonna fucking judge you for the rest of your life. No! Why would you want that? No! No, I'm not showing you. No, I'm not an enabler, what? <sighs> I've done it before, never again. It's not a fun time. Oh. 
Well, well, I mean, I guess... I mean... Oh, look, it's different if it's my friends, okay? Then it's like... Then it's like lovingly... Lovingly lewd... No. Lovingly... Is... Is getting branded by your friends kinky? <laughs> I need to know. I need to know for um for research purposes. Yes? Yes Each, it is. No making exceptions. H No exceptions. Yeah, no exceptions. Not even for my friends. Mm -mm. <sighs> no. <laughs> We're good. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, fine. Fine. You wanted to see it? There you go. There you go. Yes. My feet are on fire. No. You cannot come near it. We good? We good? Goth girls love kink like that. No, I'm not a goth girl. I'm a, I'm a hellhound. For free? No, that's why. I, that's why I step way far away. <laughs> I actually haven't seen the Black Rock Shooter reboot yet. I'm a little nervous because Black Rock Shooter is my favorite anime, and yes, I've been super fucking excited to watch the reboot, but I'm also a little nervous because I don't know. I, I want to preserve my love for it, and I, I fear that it's not as good. You're adorable. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> also, I'm behind. I'm a little behind on the subs. No, no, no. I'm the goth girl who needs the steppings. Oh. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> the way the chaggles feral, right? They typically say the chat reflects the streamer, but that's that's not that's not me. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> Curl Neils, thank you for five months. Hello, Wolf Gaming, thank you for the biddies. Thank you, Dark Lord, welcome. Thank you for subbing. Glitch Dargon, thank you for the tier three. Oh, <gasps> that's like the highest tier you can get. Thank you for two months! Thank you! <laughs> Fantastic dream! Thank you for the five gift subs! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Hmm. Zachor! Thank you for 13 months! Thank you! King Solomon, thank you for the biddies! Thank you! Vault of X stuff! Thank you for the biddies! Thank you! Thank you so much! Hmm. Can I twitch the ears? What do you mean? Like, like move my ears? Yeah? Th why did you want to see my ears move? Can you crush me with your thighs? No. I can crush you with my pinky finger. <laughs> <laughs> Don't underestimate me. <laughs> You'll take it? What the fuck? <laughs> Specifically, this one. This pinky finger. Yeah. <laughs> this one. The sharp, pointy one. Trade deal accepted. I just think my my chat uh, are a bunch of degenerates. Yeah. Oh wait, I was showing you my ear wiggles. Wiggle, 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 boo, 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 boo. Wiggle, 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 boo, 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 boo. Wiggle, 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 boo, 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 boo. Wiggle, 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 boo, 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 boo. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> you guys want a song? <laughs> <laughs> There's another 
Wiggle song. Um, I don't remember how it goes. It's like wiggle, wiggle, ba ba da da, ma na wiggle, wiggle, ba ba na da na na wiggle, wiggle, ba ba na ba 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 na ba 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 na ba ba. I think. I don't remember. I think that one might be Korean. I was just thinking of that song. How did you know? <laughs> Get out of my head. <laughs> Why? You don't like me in here? Let me out! <laughs> I'm trapped in the minds of degenerates! Help me! <laughs> I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I don't help it. <laughs> There's lots of empty space in there! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you said it, not me! <laughs> I'm one of you! Well... <laughs> well... Well... There you guys are. I almost got angry for a second. <laughs> Where the Hellhound Council at? I don't know. Don't say their name or else they might show... I mean... They're not gonna show up even if you say their name. Yeah! <laughs> I have no control over the council. The council shows up when they deem necessary. I didn't do anything to the council! Yeah, there they are. The council's in chat. There. <laughs> no! No, they can't be summoned. They just can't be summoned. I guess it depends on how... ...degenerate I am? Hey. First time catching your stream. Hiya! Sadly, I can't stay long since time zones suck and I need to sleep soon. Are you sure Hope about you that? have a great time though. Thank you. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm, I'm behind, I'm behind. Uh, Deviant Frankie, thank you for six months! Vault of next stuff, thank you for baddies, thank you. Tinder, should I contact you with market support if I haven't gotten an email regarding shipping stores? No. Last update was in June for the purchase confirmation. Mm -hmm. Only asking because I know some chatters have gotten an update for shipping. Yeah, there were like a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot of orders. I need to sleep for work, for when my so merch I hope drops. you have a good stream, Cinder. So, Everyone have an awesome night. Uh, they Much have all of the anniversary posters. I signed all of those myself, and I shipped that whole package back to them. So they'll be getting those out soon. I know they've been working on the anniversary shirts. A lot of you guys got the extra large mouse pads already. They they sent me a body pillow printing update, so they started working on those too. Uh, things just take time, and they did end up moving warehouses and completely restructuring their shipping notification system software so all that took a lot of time so they're finally getting caught up with everything so um they should they should be sending everything out relatively soon so um i just sit tight because i feel like they might be getting a lot of uh <laughs> a lot of emails about that and then they'd have to spend the time updating everybody the same things that, that i'm telling you now so uh i would just sit tight and uh Oh, maybe give it. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what the, the time the time frame would be on that. But everything on the Uwu market is made to order, so they don't keep stock, so that they don't have like um, what's it called? Like overstock. They don't have surplus. They don't have like a surplus uh, of anything. Just uh, just to keep things keep things good, just in case, so they don't have to have anything taking up their storage in their warehouse so they can focus on making stuff so uh that's why it takes a little bit of extra time and they have been um backlogged for quite quite a bit uh because of everything that they've been doing so yeah uh while we're on the topic of merch uh i do want to let you guys know that uh some of you if you ordered a figure off of Novel Horizons, the same website that is making my figure that you can still get, by the way. Um, but if you ordered f a figure earlier from this company, they sent out an update that there is going to be shipping delays. However, it is not going to affect my figure at all. So just to summarize what their update said, pretty much uh, there is 
uh, very high temperatures where they are located right now. They're in Texas. And things have gotten super, super fucking hot in Texas. Hot enough to warp the figures and completely like melt the glue holding the boxes together and stuff like that. So they are putting a pause on shipping. They're still able to work on manufacturing. So the manufacturing progress of my figure won't be delayed. Just anything that you might have ordered, uh, like some of their first first figure drops ever. Uh, that's what's being affected right now. So by the time <laughs> November rolls around, it will be much cooler and we should be good because that's when my figure is scheduled to start releasing. But right now it's still on pre-orders and you only have a little under a month left to get it before the pre-orders end and then when the pre-orders for my figure ends you will never ever ever be able to order it ever again so pre-order uh, will be open until September 17 I believe and then um, mid-September mid-September <laughs> and then uh, after that time period they will be closed so that way they make exactly how many orders they need to fulfill the pre-orders mm-hmm yeah, so get them while there's time. But yeah, uh, three days after my birthday. Yeah! I'm really excited. We're gonna party super hard for my birthday. They're actually working on the, the updated figure prototype to have the transparent fire. So it looks more like fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited for that. You'll probably be able to get it? <gasps> that makes me happy. <gasps> New me! Hello! It's nice to see you. 13 months, you remember my birthday? Aww. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she remembers. <laughs> Hi, Lazy! Every day is not my birthday, actually, but <laughs> uh, we can we can still throw a party every day. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> <laughs> all my friends stopping in to say hi. When I say all my friends, I mean like a few. <laughs> I, no, I'm not saying I only have a few friends. I'm just <laughs> I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> I'm a little behind. Thank you guys so much for, for resubbing and everything. Maelstrom, thank you for the tier three. Thank you. Thank you for five months. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, SCF Blunts, thank you for subbing. Welcome, welcome. Fantastic Dream Mueller. Thank you for a thousand biddies. Thank you. 30 minutes in and the stream's already so much fun. What do you expect? It's a me stream. It's your, it's your hellhound babe stream. <laughs> the way I dug that hole for me. <laughs> that's just, that's just, um, that's become my personality at this point. It's just. All hail the queen. Making things harder for myself. <laughs> yeah, detective stream. We shall investigate. Why? Why? I always accidentally create out of context moments of myself. Hmm, tis a mystery. Will it be solved? Hmm, who is the culprit? It is me. <laughs> I pieced that one together real fast. <laughs> mystery solved. <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it too. If it weren't for these meddling this one meddling hellhound! <laughs> These meddling pyro pups! Damn it! <laughs> it was me all along! <laughs> it was me! Cinder! <laughs> I can't, man. <laughs> I still I still have to get around to watching JoJo's. She's taking her clothes off! No, I'm not. Shut up. <laughs> Did you guys know 
That, uh, my name, Cinder. Technically, when you say it in Japanese, Shinda has a whole other meaning. Do you guys know what it means? Yeah! Death! <laughs> <laughs> you don't like where this is heading. <laughs> oh my wa, mo shinderu. Nani? Nani? I might not be death, but technically I could be associated with death. Hmm. I'm not dead. I'm just immortal. It's a little different. <laughs> Death by me. Shinda by Cinder. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> no, not by Snow Snow. <laughs> no. <laughs> If anything, death by fire! Mm -hmm. Are you ready to undergo your trial by fire? Hmm? Hmm? You may begin. <laughs> death by smothering that say. No! Help of a way to go. <laughs> I hate that I chuckled at that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't supposed to be into that. <laughs> it's not pleasant. Actually, fire is one of the most painful things you mortals can experience. I think the top is childbirth, which which sucks. Worth it? <laughs> I wonder I wonder how they rank the the pain scale. Like do they just have one person? It's tactical test tic no Huh? Killing your Minecraft <laughs> dog is the worst pain. Is what? Test test test. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Say that again. Testicular torsion. When the te testiculars tors tor tor. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> how do they how do they rank how do they rank the pain scale though do they just do they just make one person suffer and they rank it on a scale of one to ten <laughs> on a scale of one to ten how would you rate your pain <laughs> ouchie units <laughs> How do they measure testicular torsion and childbirth at the same time? How would you know which one is more painful? Hmm... Hmm... The face you make? <laughs> oh my god... I'm, I'm, I'm just going to... Uh, look away from chat for a moment... <laughs> Oh my god. Death by Cinder would be so forward slash forward slash forward slash hot. Hmm. I don't know what forward slash forward slash forward slash hot is like on the temperature scale, but it must be something. Hmm? <laughs> There's a pain scale for insect stings and the guy who made it has videos of all of the stings. Oh yeah, I've seen that guy's videos before. He's actually fucking crazy. Like, why? <laughs> why? He like screams and writhes in pain. Coyote Peterson. What? Huh? <laughs> it sounded like it sounded like a gun. He does this so we don't have to? <laughs> hmm... 
Yeah, he just like like puts his hand in a box. He like catches he catches these dangerous bugs. And he just forces them to either sting or bite him. That guy? You guys know who I'm talking about? Built different. I mean, built stupid. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's there's something out there for everybody. Um, I wouldn't think dangerous insect stings would be something out there for somebody, but it is certainly a thing that that somebody decided to make a career out of, or at least a hobby. <laughs> Not for me either. Uh uh. It gets views. Yeah, Quick, but then you gotta you consider how far will you go. Hawk, then detective things. Um, no, no, I will not watch that right now. <laughs> I mean, it is educational. Like this is what it looks like. You shouldn't go near it, or else this will happen to you. And then he demonstrates the bad parts. <laughs> no more forward slash. Hold on, I gotta catch up. I'm so behind on thinking, guys. Hold on, hold on. Glassman the man! Thank you for the two gift subs! Exa! Thank you for another 10 gift subs! Thank you! Thank you, thank you so much! Thank you! Dan! Thank you for six months! Roar XD nuzzles you! Ooh. Women oh, have no. a higher pain tolerance than men on average. Oh no. Oh no, no, don't say it. Don't, I need to cover. Oh shit, I can't cover. I can't cover chat. Um, <laughs> thanks, Dan. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Stream's <Just> over. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> no, no, it, it's a, it's like a, it's an inside joke thing with Dan because he's he's an admin in my Discord server. Um. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, uh. <laughs> Nix Nova, thank you for 10 months! Thank you! Thank you, thank you. Dreamer, thank you for a like, thousand bits! Thank you so much, thank you. Dark Gamer Snack, thank you for seven months! Are you a sneaky little snack? Mm hmm? Mm, Bronco, thank you for 500 bitties, thank you! Thank you so much for all the cheers. Thank you. Dominatrix, thank you for seven months. Thank you. Achira, thank you for subbing. Welcome. Anthony Hour, thank you for seven months. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for all the goodies, all the cheers, all the text to speech. Thank you for talking to me and hanging out. Came from YouTube. I'm glad you liked the videos. Thank you. Yeah, you guys might have noticed there wasn't an upload this past weekend. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm giving Kaiser, my editor, a little breaky break. Um, but you can expect more, more shenanigans soon. Mm hmm. And you also might be getting uh, an extra special upload. Mm hmm. Extra special. <laughs> well, not not like a 100% break, but a little bit of a break. Kaiser likes to work. <laughs> I swear, I don't, I don't work in. Yeah, it was just the weekend off. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, some things are out of our control, and. Unfortunate things happen. Yeah, two of his projects like crashed and he had to restart on them. I don't think they were mine, just like in general. Tinder, so everybody send career. love to Kaiser. How does it sound? Ready? I get the bag, I got the coin. I got a boner, it go boy yoing. Uh maybe uh This is fire! <laughs> um, uh, what was the other one? Um, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. 
I'm trying to think. Uh, does anybody else remember the insults that people were commenting on my on my tweet? Uh, <laughs> they were jokes. They were like they were like stupid jokes, but people <laughs> people thought that they, they were actually insults. It was so funny. <laughs> Yeah, though, this is fire. Put it out. <laughs> Keep your talent hidden. Yeah! <laughs> you have talent. Keep it hidden. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Just wait till my next song drops. Y'all are gonna be blasted off again. Mm hmm. <laughs> and, then, and then the views will spike if it gets on the hate train again. And then I will get the ad revenue. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be like, "Oh, I remember you from that really shitty CPR cover." And I'm gonna be like, "Oh yeah." I don't know what yeah. you're talking about. That kind of slap. You remember me though. <laughs> Is that Hannah? Hi, Hannah. My pirate babe. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Did you guys did you guys see Captain Hannah's brand new live 2D model? Hmm? Hmm? Yes, yes. No, no. If the answer is no, then we have a big problem. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love Hannah. <laughs> I'm so close. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't want to make a lady nervous. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> Come back. Here, um. This is for Hannah and Hannah's eyes only. Everybody else, close your eyes except for Hannah, okay? Okay? Okay, you guys can open your eyes now. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you staring at me? Hmm, I see how it is. Are we just looking at each other? Looking intensely, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> All of her shit is so fucking cursed and funny. <laughs> Holy shit. Country Outlaw, thank you for five months. Thank you. Got him. Thank you for 14 months. Thank you. Aura Azura, thank you for the gift to Hannah. Thank you. Archangel Lucifer, thank you for nine months. Happy sub, baby. Werewolf in hiding. Thank you for seven months. Thank you. <laughs> Twenty second eye contact. Well, I mean, if you wanted it longer, you could have just asked. I would have probably denied your request, but you could still ask. <laughs> because I want to play. I want to play a fun detective mystery game. Yeah. Illusion! Thank you for 14 months, little one. Who you call him little one? <laughs> I'll have you know, I am five, five and a half tall inches. Tall. Five, five feet, five and a half inches tall. Mm hmm. I'm average height. Yeah, sure. I'm not that short! Yeah, Lezu, Lezu can vouch for me. Lezu has seen me in the flesh. Yes. 
I'm average height. I'm not that short. Literally everybody that sees me at conventions in person, they're like, oh wow, you're a lot taller than I thought you'd be. And they and they, they look up at me like this, wow, wow, Cinder, you're so tall. Holy moly. And I go, yeah, that's right. That's right, shorty. I am awfully tall. Because <laughs> I give off short queen energy. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't wear six inch heels. Not always. Don't tell me that heels on your butt. Oh no. Oh no. It's going to be the fucking cringe shit. It's red. I was hoping you weren't here for that. I have a feeling that we're all going to be cringing this stream. And I'm not ready for it. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping you weren't here for it. Do you RXD nuzzles you? Ooh, ooh. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Anyway. Your XD nuzzles you. No! <laughs> I hate it here. Carrie Adult, thank you for seven months. Pixel Sun, thank you for two months. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get into the game, yeah? I want to, I want to forget about my awful decisions and life choices. Captain Jack Morgan, thank you for the thousand bitties. Thank you. Those are some holes you dug yourself in. Look, then again, I... you are part canine. Yes. Yes, you are correct. Let me make sure everything's working. Let's play a game! I need the controller. Yoink! Huh? Low battery. Oh shit. Let me plug it in. Cinder, you are the sweetest hellhound ever. I only wish the best for you. I can't wait to see your 2.0 model. I just know it's going to look so cute. Thank you. Technically, Sending this love from is 2.0. I love you, Cindy. But orange heart, blue heart. But it kind of isn't. You're looking forward to the casual, the casual 2.0 outfit. Yeah. This is a hundred percent Danganronpa! The screen music does slap. This is just the the title screen. Uh, hold on. Can I play? <clears throat> Thank you for ordering 
my booby mouse pad. Okay, um, hold on. My game isn't capturing for me. <laughs> Wait a second. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think the music is the biggest vibe. Game not responding. No, I'm just trying to get it so I can see what I'm doing on the game. Oh, there, I, I did it, I did it, okay. Now, I need to make sure I can see you guys. Now you guys broke. Uh oh. I'm breaking everything! Wait! I'm breaking everything! Hold on! <laughs> Give me a second! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to break you. Uh. What the heck? Where did you guys go? Uh, <laughs> no, uh, I'm trying to make it so that I can see you guys and the game at the same time. I don't know why it's giving me problems. This has never happened before. Oh my god. No, come on! I need to be able to see you! I broke my pee pee! <laughs> oh no! I should get that checked out! Wait. <laughs> Can you guys still have the music? Yes, at least you can jam out to this banger track. I got it to work! Yay! I fixed it! It's all fixed! Hell yeah, okay. Okay, okay. I think we're good to go. I fixed my pee pee! And I'm covering the game menu. <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna play a new game. that fast. I can barely read it all. Yippee! <laughs> You're still proud of your streamer? It's a little ghosty. <laughs> oh, look, a human. It's been a while. <sighs> anyway, that was a good nap. I nearly slept through the whole thing. Ah. Uh. Just like me! Let's see... With my stream! <laughs> There's something I have to do first. Okay, human, listen up. First, I'm not a human. you select your difficulty. Easy? Choose wisely. <laughs> Complain about it later, and I'll boom kill ya. Oh. Now then, display the options. Lenient, mean, troublesome, and adorable? Is a 
adorable the hardest? <laughs> what? Huh? I don't- I don't know. Yeah, adorable! Huh? I don't- What levels of these difficulties? I don't know. Lenient? <laughs> mean! Is mean... Mean, like... Average? Adorable? What difficulty? Lazy, grotesque, bashful, or omnipotent? <laughs> um... Should we do adorable? I don't know. I don't know what it means. It's not even like in a in like a, a, a like a top down list where you'd assume easiest is at the top. And I don't know what it means. I have no idea what adorable means. Adorable, lenient, troublesome, mean. That's what you think. I can't figure out if adorable is the hardest or easiest either. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hold on. I need to... Uh... Look into this. I think that's the... I think that's the whole... Uh... uh cheating? I just want to make sure! I don't want to make this little ghostly go angry. Do you want to just... Oh, chat decides? We got a poll going on. We'll just make chat decide. I didn't look anything up yet. You guys want adorable? Looks like a lot of you guys are voting for adorable. Yeah, okay. Adorable is winning by a fucking landslide. Okay. We'll just do adorable then. Oh. You sure about that? Um, Don't say I didn't warn you. What do you mean? Hmm. You want to know what difficulty that is? The one oh. you selected is how difficult yours truly will be on you. I'll be as difficult with you as you wish. Huh? So, Did that even matter? No. To be honest, it's all the same no matter what you pick. Oh. I'm your lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable partner, after all. Aww. So, are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Do you want to start for real? Yeah. Do you seriously want Yes! To start? <laughs> seriously? For real? You're troublesome, all right. Start for real. Huh. Guess you're really here for it. Sounds like you're just dying to solve some mysteries. Yeah, come on, you let's go, Junko and Oshima. Humans are so weird. I'm not a human. Well, let's get this started. It's time to embark on my lovely, thrilling, wonderful mystery-solving adventure. Yeah. Let's go. You're so cute. I think I'm gonna love you and hate you equally. <laughs> Monokuma approves. <laughs> she reminds me of a Luigi's Mansion ghost. On the Tarasu Express? Massacre? Wait a minute. Uh. Massacre? Our first body? Oh no, he's just sleeping. Whoa! What's going on? What do you. Wh beep, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> do you know where you are? Huh? Oh. Where am I? No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the bottom of his shoes glow like mine. Who? What? Is this an isekai? <laughs> Do we get isekai? <laughs> How come I don't recognize?
recognize myself. That's me, right? Oh. 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 What? How? <laughs> Anything. Does that mean? Do I have what was it called? <laughs> you can't remember. Amnesia? Oh wait, his ahoga is like a question mark shaped. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> he's just he's just confused. He's a confused boy. Uh, all right, calm down. Take a deep breath. <sighs> They definitely got the Danganronpa artists on this. Holy shit. Dang it! I love this I art can't style. Remember anything. Where am I? Who am I? Why can't I remember? Inside your pocket. Huh? Huh? Check your belongings. <laughs> it's the voice in my head. Like Shuichi? Shuichi didn't have a question mark. Wh who's there? I think Kibo's. I think Kibo's a hoge or antenna changed, depending on his mood or like Am emotions. I hearing things too. Yes, it's a ghost. I lost my memories and now I'm hearing things. <laughs> What's going on? That's rough, buddy. Ow. Oh, oh, you need to like get up. <laughs> you keep getting bonked. Oh, what now? I can't catch a break. Hmm. You're gonna get a bump on your head. Check my belongings. Uh -huh. An envelope. Oh. Notice. Oh, he's gonna read it for us. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Yuma Coco Head. Coco you Head! Are hereby dispatched to the special <laughs> autonomous zone of Kanai Ward. Dispatch duration. Indefinite. Oh. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Oh. Upon arrival, We've got a whole team. proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There you will receive further instructions. Okie dokie. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. All of them? Yuma Coco Head? <laughs> That's my name? <laughs> He's cute. Oh, because your head looks like a coconut? Thinking on it, I guess that sounds right. <laughs> That's right. I finally remember. My name is Yuma. Is it? I'm Yuma Coco Head. <laughs> <laughs> the way he says it is so funny. Yuma Coco Head. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but what's this about a world detective organization? It sounds significant. Am I a part of it? I would assume so. If that's the case, am I a detective? Yes! <laughs> I love these I obvious these kind of like Rampa style though. questions. They're so good. <laughs> it seems I was supposed to get on a train. Or at least, I think so. Are we on a train now? Master detectives? Am I one of them? Oh! Were we supposed to be on the train and there was a massacre on the train and then... We're lucky to be alive because we weren't on the train? Could there be someone who knows me on the train? Oh, shit. Here's the ticket. Let's check the schedule. Hey, it's almost time. Well, I should get on that train. Oh, okay. I'll find out more about myself if I meet someone who knows me. Attention! Hmm. Oh! Basic controls. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, oh. 
examination marker can be ex inspected. I don't want to skip anything. Detective, mindset. detective points. DP. <laughs> we, we got to earn lots of that. <laughs> earn by conducting detective activities. Mm hmm. Investigation. Sure. Hope you got all that down. Maybe something cool will happen if my rank goes up. Hmm. Don't you forget. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Next objective. Gotcha. We can inspect this shelf with Why umbrellas. Why are there so many umbrellas? The label reads "Lost Items Temporary Storage." a lot of people that lose their umbrellas. I got detective points! For looking at there's more- Holy shit, there's a lot of fucking umbrellas! Hmm. Oh, it's not all voice acted. There's something in the back, but I can't get through with all the things in the way. Stuff might fall if I try to move it. <laughs> Better not go back there. No, we don't want- We don't want to get bonked on the head with more books. More books! Bags, hats, and books. A lot of stuff has been placed here. A toy robot? It looks sturdy. The label says lost items. Aww. Can we... Hmm. Oh! On the floor. I see myself. <laughs> I'm still not used to this. Not used to looking at yourself? This is. There's a cardboard box here. I can peek inside through the hole. But it's too dark to make anything out. Or you can just lift the cover of the box! Oh, my rank went up! I get it. The place where I was sleeping was, in fact, a train station. Oh my god. <laughs> Pawn shop! They're pawning off all the lost items! That's right! I've been sleeping in a station's lost and found section. <laughs> why? <laughs> well, I guess he doesn't remember. But why was I sleeping here? Did I faint? Or was I attacked? If so, then who did it? Attention passengers departing this station. Direct to Kanai Ward on the Amaterasu <gasps> Express. That's us! Please board immediately. The train will depart soon. We gotta go! Uh, I have to get on that train. I better hurry. The amnesiac in the lost and found section. <laughs> well, we have to go find other people. Yeah, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Dongan Rumpa, sometimes the answer is so glaringly obvious, but other times the solution can get pretty convoluted. <laughs> I'm sorry. Run, run! The Amaterasu Express will now depart. Ooh! Damn, this is a fancy train! They got the gamer lights. <laughs> oh, made it in time. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. Our train utilizes Amaterasu Corporation's state-of-the-art technology for an automated, safe, and comfortable service. I'm gonna be on edge the whole time because it said there was a massacre. There is no crew aboard the train. Thank you for your understanding and support. Now all shells was automated? Automatic? So, nobody's driving this that thing. That sounds awfully dangerous. <laughs> this is red flag number one. This train has five cars. It will operate non-stop to its destination. Food and beverages are available in car two. We're in car one. Restrooms are available in car one and car five. In case of an emergency, visit the backup control room in car three. <laughs> and contact control headquarters via the intercom. Huh? If there's an emergency, we have to fix it? 
We hope you enjoy your trip aboard the Amaterasu Express on your journey to Kodai Board. How long is this trip? So there are five cars. This must be car one at the front. I'd better find the other detectives and meet up with them. If we use this... <gasps> The notebook menu is features useful for investigations. When info gets updated, it'll be marked with a new marker. Yo, check, check! <laughs> In case files, you can see an outline of the ongoing case and next objectives, the nail man killings. What the fuck? Oh. Nice try, Squidward! <laughs> we hard can't okay. take this! <laughs> you can't take this! We just got started! It's gonna be rough for you, buddy! <laughs> Uh, save load file. You definitely want to remember this. You can save whenever master. Are we your master? Is able to walk around freely, but there are some exceptions. And Be careful. That's a wrap. And then game settings. Okay. Can I investigate? It says main control room A. The door's locked. It won't open. There's a driver's seat inside, but no one's there. Is that even legal, making a passenger responsible for a train on autopilot? It's also not legal to force uh, high school students to kill each other in order to leave. Uh, <laughs> the machine appears to be functioning. So I, I'd say this is the pretty in line device. with the realm of the universe. <laughs> a different universe, but you know, game style. Okay. Uh, connecting door. So we don't want to go to the next cart yet. I want to... Restroom. There's a sink and toilet inside. This must be the restroom. Not the sign on the door. That's not what gave it away to you. There's no one inside it right now. Okay. We can investigate the toilet. Excuse me? You said there wasn't anyone inside and you're knocking on the door? <laughs> Guess there's no one here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> window. Hmm. The restroom window looks fixed in place so it can't be opened. I don't see any of the detectives through the window. Time to move on. <laughs> I hope not! <laughs> hmm. I can see my reflection in the perfectly polished mirror. I'm still not used to it. Is that really my face? I mean... Hmm. Yes? There's a fire extinguisher. I see a clean looking bed. Infirmary? This is probably the infirmary. Must have too much cocoa in the head! <laughs> it's locked, but there's no one inside. Hmm. That's good. Nobody's hurt. Yet. I mean, what? <laughs> it's a map of the train. Oh! The first and last cars can control the train. The rest are passenger cars. Okay. So, in emergency, we want to go to the last car, right? That's what- that's what I said? Or no, car three. That has the backup control room. Main control A and B. And then there's a backup control. Huh. Uh, me trying to remember stuff. It says main control room B. The door is locked and won't open. I see a driver's seat in there, but no one's inside. Hmm. There's a machine, but it's not on. Driver's seat's on both sides of the train. I think that means they can go in either direction. Oh, well, that makes sense. Oh. Whoa. I kinda sounded like a real detective there. No, you didn't! <laughs> you were just talking about what you saw! <laughs> what do you mean you sound like a real detective? <laughs> Can I, like, sprint? No. There's a warning on the door. Please keep your hands clear of the doors. For your safety, doors will remain locked while the train is in motion. Huh. Very detective. Oh, another map. It's a map of the train. Yeah, same map. So, yeah, so car one and five both have two 
control rooms. It won't open. I guess that's obvious. And this is the front car. Oh. The nose of the train is just beyond it. We if can't it go outside? I could fall off. Oh. No, <laughs> alright then. I thought that was the connecting door. Wait. Was there another connecting door this way? Huh? Oh. <laughs> I couldn't, like, view it to interact, so I didn't think it was something I could click on. Someone's there. I heard a voice behind the door. Open it. <laughs> People! Ooh! We've got a cat boy! <gasps> it's Miwa Ruma. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Soda. It's, um... That oh my god, that's Monica. Uh, <laughs> not me comparing them to Danganronpa characters. That old guy from from the the anime. Uh, excuse me, are you the third one, Danganronpa three. <laughs> you are right. You're master detectives, aren't you? No way. We are. But who are you? Oh my god, a fucking cat boy! Um, I'm with you. I think I'm also a master detective of the World Detective Organization. A boy like you? Master detective of the WDO? Oh my god, I love her. Oh, Mega Mew vibes. Oh. It seems like it. Seems like it. Okay, that's fucking Togami. He is the fucking Togami of the group. The, like, the asshole <laughs> with the glasses. <laughs> the sassy asshole. Yeah, Byaki a Togami. Like hell, dumbass. Huh? Huh? You can hear my passion for this game already. And he reminds me of Soda, because he's got the same, like, hair. And and the beanie. A runt like you, a master detective? Yeah. Soda if he was a prick, yeah. Actual soda is just kind of like a a bottom. <laughs> You're just shooting your mouth off. You look like a shriveled anteater. I'm kind of into that though. <laughs> anteater? What's the meaning of this? A lot of nerve posing as a master detective. You wanna die right here, right now? <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting um Maki vibes. Do you wanna die? <laughs> w wait, please hear me out. Subby boys, no, I was saying that I liked the way he was being aggressive. I mean oh, right. What? I have proof that I'm a master detective. <laughs> From the World Detective Organization? Yeah. It's real. There's no mistake about it. How come the ears on your hat are twitching like a real animal ears? Is he a cowboy? What? Are you serious? Looks like there's a reason behind this. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. The hat is part of his body? <laughs> right. Thank you. But there's really not much to explain. Oh my god, I'm explaining everything. <laughs> Fast forward. And we don't want to hear it. That's what happened. Amnesia. Looks that way. I was hoping one of you would know who I am. Apparently not. Hmm. No way. We're on the same team, but no one knows me? Then who am I? <laughs> I don't know. It's not looking too good for you. That's what I want to know. Besides, even if the letter is real, you may not be the right recipient. Oh, why do you suspect me? There is a reason why. But first, do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? No. Um, a little bit? I think I remember a little. Or not. 
<laughs> Poor guy got hooed. <laughs> Guess not. So you called yourself a member without even knowing. Yes, sorry. Well, <laughs> I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. Oh yeah, I'm just a lost little guy. Very well, I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. Oh, uh, thank you. That's kind of ominous. Um. <gasps> Is the blood going to be pink in this game too? <gasps> That'd be so cool. So what do you have to say? Although, no, that's, let me talk to these guys first. <laughs> You're so badass. That's all you said? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, we'll just laugh at each other. <laughs> what? These people aren't even. What do you mean, what? You're gonna be nice to me, though, right? Oh. What is it? Uh, uh, I'm the perfect height. <laughs> oh, damn, she's got the side shave with the dye? Oh. Where'd you go? <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Hi. She doesn't want to talk to me. She's the gamer. She's got the gamer headphones. That's it. Listen up. The World Detective Organization is an extra legal, extra privileged organization devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mysteries. Mm. Their branches exist throughout the world, and their investigations are handled by master detectives. As of now, there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the WDO. All have powers specializing in investigative work. Well, I'll have you know, I looked at a control room, and I made a very detective the detective deduction. So I have very special powers. Powers? They are supernatural powers used in investigation, known as forensic fortes. Oh, um, maybe I don't actually. <laughs> People who develop talents such as clairvoyant or mind reading. Huh? They train at the organization. Can you read my mind? These special powers which aid in their investigation. Can you see how, how down bad I am for that other chick over there? <laughs> That's embarrassing! Those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective deed. Which means, if you're a master detective, it should say so on your license. Detective deed? Oh, do we have a license on me? It's an identification card. Check your pockets. I don't have one. Uh oh. If you don't have a detective deed, you ain't one of us. Okay, well shut up, dude. Even if you got one, I suspect it's fake anyway. I mean, we got the same uniform. Oh, hold on, I'm not trying to trick anyone. Um, pardon me. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of you? Oh. That's if interesting. You require he has some sort of proof, and the same would apply to everyone here. That's tr I like her. She's just kind of like Chiaki. Huh? The hell did you just say? <laughs> She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Hmm. Huh? First time. So you guys don't know each other? Yeah. So how would you know me? Master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own, solving cases. I've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this. Hmm. What, we thought of all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions. Then you walked in. I see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. I'm sorry, I was investigating doors. What? You still want to do introductions? With the imposter too? Shut up! It's vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. Mm-hmm. All the more reason due to this... Uh, perplexing circumstance. 
perplexing circumstance? Remember the golden rule? Don't get attached. Like Don't say that! Don't say that! Please! <laughs> no! <laughs> now, let's begin. Hi, I'm Yuma, I think. Hello. I am Zange Eraser. I come from a detective agency on the front lines, far from here. Zange Eraser? These are definitely aliases. Ooh! Zange! Perhaps you expect an introduction, but I have nothing to say. Let the past melt like ice in an evening stream. That's how I live my life. My forte is photography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. What? Onto electronics? Electronics? <laughs> That's crazy! I thought he was gonna be able to like, like have a photographic memory and like draw it or something. Huh? That's all for me. There's no need for any further explanations. There's clearly something extraordinary about it. Maybe that's him. why he has the eye patch thingy. Maybe it's for his power. I Anything he thinks slowly. turns into JPEGs? I'm from the detective branch in the eastern slums. Affex? Why do I love him? They call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke, illegal immigrant. Oh, so he's a bad boy. When I was a kid, I was in an upstanding home, living an upstanding life. My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso. Because they went after him, they were murdered. Their necks were cut open, right in front of me. That's awful. I ran away to protect myself and jumped on a ship at the port. Not worth it, I can fix him! I didn't know where the ship was going. But that was the moment I threw away my past and my home. I drifted to the slums and did everything I could to survive. He's got a tragic backstory and everything. I managed to survive until now, thanks to luck. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. But I also wanted revenge. Ooh. I can't stand evil. But even if you ain't evil, I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. I ain't evil, don't worry. <laughs> if I can't figure out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, then I just beat up both of them. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Kill or be killed is my motto. He looks scary, but that's not all. I think there's a deep sadness within him. Yeah, he's broken. I can't share details about my forte. Just know it's kind of like radar. Huh? Radar for what? That's all you're going to tell us? You got a problem with that, you tiny runt? No! Oh. I mean, ah, uh, no! Uh, ah, uh, I'm scared! <laughs> Not at all! You sure are a frail looking kid, aren't you? And pale to boot. Like disaster's got its claws on ya. You sure nothing weird is haunting you? That he's the kind of guy that would cave on, like unironically, just just to, like appear threatening. No way. <laughs> A detective's gotta be tough. Don't hit me How like that, train Mommy. <laughs> training. First what kind of training? Get used to stab wounds. We'll start with an ice pick and scissors. Fruit knife. I'm actually. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> I don't think I need training. Don't be shy, runt. He's part dolphin. He's got echolocation. <laughs> no, really, but I'm fine. <laughs> Too bad. I'm also noticing a, a, a trend. They all have like um, blue markings on their faces. 
I'll go first. Allow me to introduce oh, myself. Oh, <laughs> he didn't go I first. And Zilch Alexander. Zilch? Like zero? Your eyeballs are kind of sus, but um. I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me Nature's Mediator. Zilch. I love people, <laughs> nature, yeah. and the harmony between them. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Oh, because he's a cat boy. Oh. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? Get on your knees. Rumor no. has okay, it mommy. that one by one, everyone involved with the dam's construction died, all cursed by a sunken ritual site. It was a once-in-a-century difficult case. The one who solved it was none other than myself. Wow, impressive. <laughs> there wasn't much to it. Oh. The culprits were locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the strange I bragging. part is that all 52 villagers were in on it. What? They all kept their lips sewn shut to protect the secret. I'll let you figure out what that means. When harmony between man and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Nature's mediator? He does look like a good detective. Does he? <laughs> Though he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. I'll describe my forte as well. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, but this is an emergency. Huh? My forte is... Animal Investigation. Wait, he is a real cat! <laughs> he can speak to animals! <laughs> I can control animals as I wish and recruit them for my injuries. <laughs> Quite fitting for the philanthropist that I am. <laughs> Furry, no, he's one step further. <laughs> Though useful in many ways, I mainly use it to gather intel. It can he control me? To me? Survey a target while remaining undetected. Uh, uh I'd, I'd let him try. I mean, as a basic rule, what else can you do? I can only control four-legged mammals. Oh, less intelligent animals are easier to control. Hey, wait! <laughs> Is he calling me stupid? I often use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. Oh my God! The fucking cat boy controls mice! <laughs> Ain't no way! <laughs> And here comes the wolf chasing the little kitty cat. A woo! <laughs> Unfortunately, it's the circle I can't of life. Show it off right now because there aren't any mice on this train. Oh, that's Not unfortunate. Only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. He really is impressive. That is all from me. <laughs> With love, I yield to the next person. With love, aww. He's a softie. I'm gonna save the best for last. <laughs> An introduction. Introduce myself. Uh huh. A subjective observation of one's own self image explained objectively. She's so cute. <laughs> uh, are you okay? <laughs> Did I do something that caused you concern? Uh, uh, no. She a robot. <laughs> it's just you seem to be having difficulty introducing yourself. I rarely have a need to do so, so I was considering what approach to take. Aww. After all, is there such a thing as a self in the first place? Okay, you're getting too deep for me. All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting to external stimuli. If I had to... I guess I'd call myself Poochie Laughman. Poochie! <laughs> Poochie! She's so fucking cute. <gasps> She's got Usami in her hair. 
So, your name is Poochie, then? Names are meaningless. A method of arbitrary labeling for self-recognition. Symbols for kept that at- She's- um, What? A bit odd. Most of the World Detective Organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries. Jackie 2.0 is real? Yeah, right? <laughs> the gamer girl headphones? The bunny motif? <laughs> I was trusted with many bureaucratic investigations. My clients are mainly enterprises and politicians. Depending on the client, I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. How? My forte is known as audio aptitude. When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps, and even heartbeats. Oh. No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Poochie, am around. Oh, damn. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Uh, maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Did you hear me thirsting over uh, uh, the babe next to us? <laughs> Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, I'm unable to hear things far away. Oh, I see. No. Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. Oh, okay. <laughs> my already tenuous sense of self starts to. So finish. there's a debuff. It's not. It's not that I OP. Tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. Being blessed with powers sure comes at a price. Did she always act in such a strange way, or did it develop after she obtained her forte? Regardless, she definitely has a distinct air about her. That is all I have to say about myself. She doesn't have a marking. Oh. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, she is the Chiaki. She's the love interest. She's so cute! Oh my god! This part of her seems a bit more normal. She's flustered. Oh, she's flustered because she almost held hands with a cute boy. She didn't have the markings on her face, though. Do you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Hey. Young man. Who? Mm, me? That's right. Come here. Stand before me. Y yeah, I'll get closer. Oh, why? <laughs> oh. Uh, whoa. Huh? What's going on? Is this my power? <laughs> the power of Snoo Snoo? <laughs> You. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what part are we measuring? Uh, um. <laughs> Stay still for just a second. I'll be quick. Is this your power? <laughs> Get on your knees. Okay, well, <laughs> That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. My name is Melamie Goldmine. Melamie? My home is rather far north from here. Damn girl, you are a gold mine. I'm feeling lucky. Up there is a branch with detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. Huh. <laughs> Melamie! I love her. Okay, so only the guys have blue markings on their A face. Medium? I don't know if that's if that signifies something. I can summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Hell yeah. Summon a soul? Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Yes, of course. That's so useful! But there is one condition. 
I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Hmm. Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. That's interesting. <laughs> Hence why my powers don't work on people smaller than me. Or if the person is far bigger. Overall, the size must match. Oh, well, that makes it a lot less useful. <laughs> Someone die in a bikini! <laughs> with no fashion sense. Oh! Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of the question. <laughs> so a bikini! <laughs> that sounds more like a preference than a condition. Clothes make a man. They reveal all about one's livelihood. Like skin worn over skin. That's what clothes are all about. Oh, huh, okay. Consider that when compared to bare skin, Clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. Therefore, clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. That's true. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? She's taking her clothes off! <laughs> Because those clothes are a part of their identity. Now that you mention it... That's why, despite your amnesia, I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Huh. Really? But your we all have the same... Undoubtedly an official one supplied I was gonna say, we all have the, the same uniform. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Which means I really am a master detective? Hmm. Am I one or not? I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I have to say. I'm the medium detective Melamy. Nice to meet you all. The whole amnesia trope is so common with Danganronpa. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! No, it's gonna be the fucking cat boy! No! Who are we talking to now? Oh, you again? Great, now we're fuck Lastly, talking to the fucking cat boy. It's your turn, Yuma. <clears throat> oh my god. And here comes the wolf chasing the little kitty cat. A woo! <laughs> <laughs> Aside from having amnesia, is there anything and else? And here comes the wolf no chasing the little kitty cat. Oh, woo! <laughs> no! I still can't remember anything. If you really are a master detective, then you should have some sort of forte. Um, I don't know. I'm really good at examining doors. I have no idea. Young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes you usually wear? Or brands you like? Uh... <laughs> you only inquired about clothing. <laughs> well, that's her forte! <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> anyway. Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. Um... I don't think more trauma is gonna work. Hold on! <laughs> Apex, stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you! No the shit! The perplexing circumstance we face may have something to do with his memories. What is the perplexing circumstance? Is that code for the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? That's right, I, that's I what was, it was wondering called? about that. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Did something happen? Well, 
Something unexpected has occurred on our trip. The massacre? The number of people is off. What? The number of people? I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the <gasps> train was... That's why they call me an imposter. Precisely five. And there's six of us here! <gasps> this reminds me of, uh... This is gonna be such a far stretch, but I don't know if any of you guys have watched Raka no Yusha. It's pretty much this scenario. Where there's an imposter. Five? And they need to figure out who it is, and then they all, like, fight each other. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about! One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Six. <gasps> There's six of us. Sounds like the six braves to me. <laughs> I also heard from the WDO that five master detectives will gather on board. Hmm. Hence why when you called yourself a master detective, I was honestly surprised. I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. <laughs> this is getting exciting. <laughs> It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. He said it! He said the thing! Oh my god! <laughs> it's not me. I think. How about we contact the WDO and find out? It could be a mistake. Hmm. It's no use. I can't reach them. There's no signal here. Well, you didn't try very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? Hmm. It's obvious. I'm the most suspicious. Mm hmm Especially with my amnesia in this situation. Mm-hmm. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? I am the sixth one here. Uh-oh. Not looking good for us. All right. I got it. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. You may speak. I'll allow it. He's just like, he's the imposter! <laughs> Why would I need your permission? Whatever. Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. That's not what I expected him to say. Okay, after after that little foot stomp tantrum, he kind of reminds me of a mix between Soda and Mondo. Mondo Uwada from, from the first game. That's the vibe I'm getting. You like him now? You like this guy? <laughs> yeah, I, the girl The girl seemed a little off to me. The younger girl? The Chiaki-like girl? Huh? Pucci, Pucci. It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. Exactly. The run must have been attacked by the real culprit. <gasps> the memory loss is a side effect of the attack. And you were trying to beat me again? What the fuck? And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack Yuma? Poochie Coochie! Somebody was gonna say it! Somebody was gonna fucking say it and it wasn't gonna be me! <laughs> to pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. Mm, that's a good point, wait. The plan was going smoothly. The runt suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed. And the results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The runt's gotta be tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. And I thought you'd be the most useless one here. <laughs> Why, thank you. In other words, I was knocked out of the station because someone attacked me? I'm surprised he didn't but lash back. I've been injured. <laughs> hmm. Excuse me. My deduction is slightly different. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. Stop Will acting you? like we need to get your permission! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I suspect that the entire situation is a test designed by the World Detective Organization. Hmm... A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member and is ascertaining our skills here. Oh. If that were the case... 
Yuma here could possibly be the exam officer. Huh, me? <laughs> I was gonna suggest the, the, the guy, the eye patch guy back there. <laughs> he seems the most fitting for that role. Me? An exam officer? <laughs> Bring it on! I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got. Show me. What are you trying to do? <laughs> For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. Hmm. And how are you going to do that? Like this. He's an anime. <laughs> He's using his dolphin, his dolphin power. Are you going to go? go. E oh. Oh shit, wait! Wait, this is fucking cool! <gasps> yeah, he's echolocating. His eyes are so cool. I mean, no, he's he's bad. He's he's a bad boy. <laughs> what? What was that? Yeah, he said it was a radar, oh, but that's all he said. Overcame my whole body. No signs of the enemy. Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Hmm. Um, what did you do? <laughs> How do Here's we know you're not lying? Life detection. I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. But not bodies. The mechanism is a trade secret. But I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. We're the only ones alive on this train. Talk all you want, but who can verify that you're not lying? That's what I just said. We're never gonna get anywhere if you start doubting everything. <laughs> Use your own damn powers to figure it out then. <laughs> yeah, your little rat power. <laughs> I see. So Forte's come in handy at a time like this. This is cool. It's like Danganronpa talents. In that case, there's someone else with the power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. Do you hear anything? <laughs> she just um, gave me a side Uchi, eye. Would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Poochie, was contemplating it at the moment. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Shall I try? But still, it's only if they're alive! Yes, please. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Shh! Don't tell me she's motion sick. Quiet, she's trying to listen! She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? Well, that's great! Go for it! It'll prove I'm right. Shut. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Oh, she's getting mad. <laughs> huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiots. Oh. She's got a bit of a temper. Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? Oh. I need to concentrate. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, something tells me that. That's gonna. That's gonna be important later. The breaking character kind of vibe. Huh? <laughs> this is so fucking cool. What the hell? Iris is like music notes. Huh? Zil just belonging. Oh wait, I was reading that. Wait. This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Does no one else hear it? What's going on? I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. Hmm. Though one could hold their breath, they still cannot stop their heart from beating. In other words, 
There's no one else on this train. Bye, Poochie. Guarantee it. What about that ghost? The ghost girl might be on the train. See? I told you so. Sorry for calling you gloomy earlier, little girl. You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but... Aren't our powers kind of the same? I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the useless one. Ouch! Oh! <laughs> Quiet, you catty bitch! <gasps> Slap him! <laughs> oh, wait, that's even better. <laughs> that's gotta make him even more angry. <laughs> Moving on, we've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. True. One of them, an imposter? But Aphex and Pucci both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. Hmm. But I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. Why am I the only one? Your power is sensing other people's powers? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You keep laughing over there. What's wrong with you, old man? <laughs> you gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? Huh? The sounds of a running train. The wheels of fate chugging along. Yeah. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. Yeah. <laughs> My power is being sensitive. <laughs> no one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Okay, that's true. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning Ooh, mystery. What's with that smile? I don't like that. The little sprite? The sp the sprite down in the corner? Ooh. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. <laughs> yeah, okay, Grandpa, let's get you to bed. <laughs> You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. Oh my god. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? He can't. There are no animals. How about it? Four-eyed fox detective. Fox? As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. Oh, is he a fox? Not a cat? Did I just assume his species? I'm so sorry. So, you're fine being considered a suspect then? You are free to think what you wish. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. True. Now we've got two suspects. Oh my god. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. Hmm. That's true. Damn. There's no end to this. <laughs> to hell with it. Everybody line up. I'll deck you one by one! <laughs> you need to calm down! Whoever passes out is safe, got it? The real deal! If you don't pass out in one hit, <gasps> then you've gotta be the imposter! Huh? <laughs> what? What is this logic? Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm, the motive. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? There are. Huh? You may speak. I'll allow it. 
hundredth time. Why would we need your permission? <laughs> I like their I like their uh, dynamic. <laughs> the Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows. But I could never catch them in the act. I think they're just admiring you from a distance. It was getting annoying, so I tried <laughs> Sorry, that was me! <laughs> Clara! <laughs> I walked around town in my underwear. And at last, they revealed themselves. <laughs> Hold up. Did you just say that you... <laughs> Never mind. Continue. I'm gonna need a demonstration. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I understand what you mean. <laughs> I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. The spy has only one goal. To disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Among us! Hmm. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible. Though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Still pretty sus. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you gotta explain that too? I have amnesia, people shy. It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. Oh, okay. About Amaterasu Corporation. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. You see their products Ooh. practically everywhere in daily life. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets. Industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, with their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. Hmm. That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? You're so hilarious. Wow. How come the logo on the back of your beanie is a shoe print with a, a, a suspicious splatter on top of it? That explains a lot. Sure, I got it. Thanks. About Kanai Ward. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated. But Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu autonomous zone. It's a good observation. It's the cosplayer in me. <laughs> I'm a sucker for seeing the back of the designs. <laughs> Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Oh, that would make sense why the corporation doesn't want us investigating the ward. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling hmm? to and from Kanai Ward. What? Care to explain? Explain what do you mean? Explain what? What do I do? Why are you guys what are you guys questioning me? 
What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. Looking at the back of cosplay? Yeah, so... I have- I've got a long history of being a cosplayer, and so... Whenever- <laughs> Whenever I- I'm- I'm looking at, like, video game characters, or anime characters, and things with very, very strong cosplay potential, I always love seeing the backside of the designs, because usually in, like, reference art, you don't see. It's, like, usually from the front, obviously, because that's where the face is. So, no, it's not because I'm looking at booty. It's just because I like to see how things are made and designed. Because, <laughs> like, we never would have known he's got the fucking shoe print bloodstain thing on the back of his hat if it wasn't for this angle. And I think that's really cool. This has been going on for years. But the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. What? Wait. The booty's just a bonus? <laughs> yeah. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. The entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, Master Detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. That's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. Hmm. I see. Thank you very much. About the Amaterasu Express. Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. Hmm. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. Oh yeah, we should check out the food. The dining car. Oh wait, is this the dining car? Oh, I think this is the dining car. Can we eat? <laughs> a perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. Well, that's for safety. They say it's for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big, moving coffin. Oh. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be open. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Thank you, Poochie. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. Hmm. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. That's pretty suspicious. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. Has anything you heard sound familiar? It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? Huh? Ghost? Did anybody else hear that? Or is it just the voice in my head? Um, did someone just speak? No. No. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Mm, that sounds good. Although, we only seem to have coffee here. Oh, what? Hmm. How's that gonna make me rest? Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? <laughs> I think you know my answer to that one. <laughs> milk, you say? <laughs> 
dad probably wants milk. <laughs> from the way you dress <laughs> never mind him here have a drink to warm yourself up thanks mom <sighs> thank you <laughs> that cup is fucking massive <laughs> Wait, how tiny are we what was that voice earlier am i hearing things it's the ghost i have amnesia and now i'm hearing things what's happening to me I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should hmm. think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Hmm. Uh. I don't know. Me? <laughs> I can say myself. <laughs> um, I'm getting weird vibes from her just because like there's there's technically a ghost that we know about roaming around and she can like turn into the ghosts, but she needs the clothes for that. He's mysterious, but I don't think that's enough of a reason. Although he's kind of throwing himself into the, like, protagonist role, for lack of a better word. You know how he's kind of, like, giving people permission to speak? There is a poll! Who do you guys think is the most sus? Zilcher Zanji Zang Zang. I forget how to say his name. <laughs> Zilch. That's what I'm thinking. He seems like too. I don't know. Hmm. The sender option. Well, technically that's this one, but we're, we're not gonna. We'll say Zilch. He's kind of... Hmm. Zilch took on the leadership role yeah. immediately. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Instead of simply taking charge, what if he was trying to manipulate us? Maybe I've already been manipulated. No matter how much I think about it, hmm. we have no proof of anything so far. True. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. Poochie's innocent? Yeah, but... The fact that she gives me Chiaki vibes, and if you guys know Super Dong and Robba 2, and... Yeah... <laughs> I, I don't want to spoil anything if you guys want to play those games. Work. Remembering now won't do any good. Why? There it is again! I keep hearing that voice! Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt! What? Uh -huh. What do you want? Get over All here. Right, Sin. The old Time man is gonna show off his powers. Ready. Old man powers! Okay. Have you yeah! Slept Have you eaten today? Old man I've power. Those two old man rush. power. Ice cream secured. Old man Milk power. Secured. What? The voice is silenced. If you uh, answered no to any of these, please take care at your earliest convenience. You might want to hire a priest. Oh, um, I don't know if that'll do a hellhound any good. Zonge? <laughs> Zonge. You've got an aperture logo on your back. Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. You forced my hand. Huh? Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. But can can somebody have a forte without being? Maybe they're an ex detective agency member. 
What's that? Your cell phone? Oh my god. <laughs> Quiet. Is it hentai? <laughs> there it is again. I can feel Zonga using his forte. As I've said before, my power is photography. I can project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record. <laughs> what memory did you project? The recording mm -hmm. clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. A quick huh? kiss to your I forehead before I had to sleep. To what? Show. That's kind of weird, but thank you so much for the hundred. Thank you for the big tip. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think it is? What's on the phone? <laughs> Me sipping, sipping the coffee. Coffee. Sipping the milky? <laughs> That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. Yeah, it's a family friendly one. I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. Oh, so it's a whole video. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. Oh. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. But by copying it to another device before it fades, footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Oh. Pardon me, but are you sure this is photography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. This guy, this guy's really sus. Hey, at least he showed off a fucking power. What are you gonna do, huh? Huh, you can't do anything. Huh, you little cat boy, you little fox man, you little... <laughs> Ow, woo. <laughs> All you do is doubt everybody. Be constructive for once. Do you think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth is You're suspicious. I've played enough Danganronpa to deduce that you are being pretty sus. Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. Hmm. Hey, the robot eye is just a camera. I'm hearing things again. Maybe. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. He's a ghost. It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Huh? Young man, are you all right? You don't seem well. I don't feel good. Please hold me in your arms. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. Sit down. Just sit down. I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. Yeah! The passenger rooms from car 3 and beyond are all full, so you should use car 1 at the front. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Well, yeah, I remember. We saw the infirmary when we were investigating. Monitor? You've got some nerve. Will you be all right on your own? No. Or do you need some company? Yeah, come with me. Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? Aw. No, it's nothing. I'm all right. No! I get there by myself. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no! Fine. Well, we're like stumbling around. Come on. You can do it. Oh, that's a cool door. You can do it. The infirmary is right there. Wait. Huh? It's locked. You gotta find the key first. The key! Oh my god. I just wanna lay down. Come on! <laughs> Where's the key? 
Is it somewhere in the first car? I see, I see. If an entire area on the minimap is shining, that means a destination or investigative objective is nearby. Okay. Okay, I'm investigating. Is the key in the bathroom? It opened. Yep. Is it in the toilet? Uh oh. We we shouldn't be here alone. Now splash some water on your face. <laughs> oh, come on, you stupid ghost, look what you did! Too spooky. Hey! <laughs> it's time to get up! Wakey, wakey! How long are you gonna sleep? Get up, up, up! Or I'll boom kill you. <laughs> boom. <laughs> huh? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So you can finally see cute little me. Hi. <laughs> it's all taking root. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> It's Junko! That's not me! And there she is! What? Huh? What is this thing? How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? <laughs> well, aren't you rude? It's like the perfect blend of Monokuma and Junko. <laughs> Talking. Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too. I've completely lost it. Snap out of it. You're my master, aren't you? No. <laughs> master. Sense of when? <laughs> That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between us. Oh, I can't remember that. Can we do it again to refresh my memory? Huh? What pact? We were so passionately bound together. Can we do it again? I forgot. <laughs> How cold of you. After I offered myself to you and you alone. <laughs> You're so irresponsible. Take ownership of your actions. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Same, bro. <laughs> You want to eat? You got to bring something to the table. Like an apple. <laughs> Shinigami, baby! Wait, what did you just say? A death god? Call me Shinigami. Hey! <laughs> Shinigami! Cuter than the last one I saw. That ain't my style, you know. Uh, so let's just say it in Japanese. <laughs> I'm too cute for that. I was born too pure and innocent. That's why I prefer to go by Shinigami. Anyway, that's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> you are the father. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, how are you going to explain to everybody else that you have a death god? I don't know if that's going to help your case. You keep calling me master. Wait, are you haunting me? Please, call me Shinigami. Shinigami? Yup, yup. <laughs> of course, I'm 100% haunting you. I'm haunting you like your life depends on it. That was your wish, after all. It's why we made that contract. 
Can you remind me what the terms and what the wish uh, from the contract were? That's what I wanted? And for our sweet, sweet contract, you offered something in return. Uh, oh, what was it? Offered? <gasps> you mean... You finally got it? You offered your own memories. Ah! Oh. You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. That's why I have amnesia? <laughs> I love the music. The euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. <laughs> Um, <laughs> is there more to it? Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. But I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. Not. <laughs> what? Hey, babe, you want to complete a contract together? <laughs> which is it? Why? Why did I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. That seems kind of sus. Why not? Tell me! No can do. That's the contract. By the way, Master, something's been bothering me. What is it? If I am your master, then you should obey me. Tell me. Agent! Thank you for the 20 gift subs! Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Huh? Two hours? Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable, right? But during that time, no one came to check on you. They're all so cruel, you know? Maybe they forgot about you. Who? Speaking of... Why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? Y yes. That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, <gasps> so I was looking for the key to the infirmary. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. We what? When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Your haunting presence is Probably why I felt sick in the first place. <laughs> this is a hmm. I'm curious. I have so many questions. Hey, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. That's right. Where are the others? The others? I thought we were gonna go to the infirmary. And and rest. Can we leave? What's going on? Is there a fire? It's not me. What? There's Aren't fire extinguishers. The whole time? I can't be separated from you. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. All I saw was your dumb sleeping face in the restroom. I have no clue what happened outside. So what happened here? Hey, look, look! There's smoke coming in through the cracks of the door! Right! Is there a fire? There's a fire extinguisher! Let's pick it up! Fire? So, it's burning? It's not me! Now I'm getting excited! Huh? Excited? We have to do something! Can we, can we pick this up? Hello? Fire extinguisher! Right there! Pick it up! <coughs> What's going on? <gasps> Zilch! Ah! Ah! Zilch, please wake up! Zilch! I'm sorry, I accused you! Smoke. I, I gotta help! Wait. Master! Did I do that? <gasps> did, did my choice do that? <sighs> Alright. Oh, 
No way. He burned a lot more after the fire was out. I didn't do it. Oh, holy shit. Gilgamesh, thank you for 25 gift subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wait, Agent, are you guys fighting again? Holy shit. Thank you for 10 gift subs. Oh my god. Thank you. I hope, I hope you're, you, you guys are enjoying the stream. Yeah, the, um, the game has, uh, the same... A lot of the same team that worked on Danganronpa. Why did this happen? There's no time to rest. If you're a detective, you know what to do. Huh? Search the body. Did I do that? You need to confirm if someone is really dead by checking the body. So, I don't know if that was a coincidence, or if my decision actually affected the game. Me? Maybe I should ask for help. Why would a detective run from a corpse? I don't know that I'm a detective. He's just sleeping? Well, you sure are one. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked for help from yours truly. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'll explain it another time. But since you've forgotten... I'll be your mentor and train you to be a proper detective. Thank you. So, get to it. I'm really doing this. Of course. The mystery is practically solved when a detective is first on the scene. <sighs> Poor baby boy. Investigation. Time to investigate. Zilch, I'm sorry. It's completely charred. How come the body's charred under the blanket? No movement. No breathing either. I can't feel a pulse. The smell of burnt flesh is too much for me. All right, so it's real. A knife is still lodged in the chest. This is the only knife wound. I don't see any other injuries. <laughs> Not all the <of> burns? <laughs> well, how's our corpse doing? What do you mean? Dead, without a doubt. <laughs> Thought so. Kinda charred, after all. You really didn't even need to check. <sighs> Don't be so glum. Oh, don't cry. He was crying. The in any case. It's not that. Oh. I mean, if I'd noticed sooner... Oh, sweet boy, I want to protect him. You think you could have saved a life? Forget about it. If you're so worried, try CPR. Though, you'll be tasting soot doing that to such a charred corpse. Your dick break hard like a metal. <laughs> What's dad is it's dead. not working! <laughs> Right. I have to tell the others about this. Oh, I smell a case. You no, know, that's a dead body that you smell. <laughs> it's the AED from the infirmary. Using this on Zilch now probably won't help. Hello? Probably? You want to use it on that human charcoal? If he did come back to life, he wouldn't be happy about it. How do you know? Medical equipment. This is... Medical equipment from the infirmary. I don't know how to use it. But... Even if you did know how to use it, there's no saving someone that crispy. <laughs> the guy was charred black before you got into the room. No, he wasn't. We saw his hair and everything. They're all gone. Oh, wait. 
No! No! That's not real! 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 No! We should have asked her to come with us! Is this a dream? This has to be a dream, right? It wasn't me! Maybe it's a nightmare! Please, I want to wake up! I can't take this anymore! You're so pitiful, you know that? Are you sure you're the guy who sold your soul to me? What are you anyway? Friend or foe? Your friend, of course. After all, you're my master. I don't even know what you want. Well, I know what you I don't know what why why? Isn't that nice? I'm your friend and I'll be haunting you till death do us part. Why did I agree to this? I don't get it! Why would I make a contract with the Death God? This is why the chapter was called Massacre on the Amaterasu Express? Wait, do they even really exist? Maybe this floating thing is just a figment of my imagination. Shut up, you're trapped! You memoryless, courageless, brainless detective! This is a nightmare to you, then you gotta use all you got! I was starting to get attached! That's rule number one in any kind of Dongan-esque game! But what can I even do? That's why I'll be your teacher and mentor. I'll make you a proper detective yet! Just listen to me and everything will be a-okay. First, check the scene of the crime like you did earlier. Now stand up! Come on! There's alcohol? Feels very, very well done. It's Melanie, all right. <laughs> no. She's completely burnt to a crisp, but I recognize what parts are left of her face. There's no pulse or breath. No doubt she's been dead for a while. There's a bottle of liquor nearby. Maybe that was used to start the fire. You found two corpses back to back? You sure are reeling them in! <laughs> Talk about the I knew I was getting life. into a murder game, but but it's but <laughs> detective but 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 I didn't realize that the people we'd be investigating would be would be a people that we'd get to know. I should have known. <laughs> There's nothing lucky about this at all. So, what's the cause of death? Huh? Oh, um, there aren't any obvious external wounds. The burns, you fucking moron! So she burned to death. The other one also got incinerated. Such a cruel way to die. What's going on here? This is... There are empty liquor bottles all around. All of them apparently had high alcohol content. I thought you said there's only coffee on this train. <laughs> I would have taken a swig. <laughs> Could Melamy have been set on fire with this? <laughs> Alcohol's the best way to cook the stench out of meat, after all. <laughs> what a rich Shut up. fragrance! How about a taste, Master? You got a cookie? Where'd you get that? This is. There are a bunch of liquor bottles on the shelf. Could they have been used to set Melanie on fire? Yeah, that's right! She was literally flambéed with some pricey-looking liquor, huh? Not a bad way to go. I mean... <laughs> hey, you're already dead, Let's so... Let's go to the next one! Alright. Huh? Oh! Did it just shake? Oh, hell no. What was that? What was that? <laughs> the lights went out for a moment and came back on. Are we in a Ooh, tunnel? It got dark outside. Looks like we're in a tunnel. Anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying? 
You should probably tell the other master detectives, yeah? They're probably all dead! Right, that's right. burnt to death while well, we're assuming <laughs> I guess you'd be right <laughs> one mystery after another I can't hold back from all this excitement. it was called massacre five cars five bodies no to see that we have to find the others right away I'm getting excited here <laughs> shut up are they in the rooms Body been discovered one after a certain amount of time has passed the class way. trial will begin. Which means whoever killed these guys is still in the train, right? The killer? Is it me? But who would do such a thing? I swear. You'll find out if you investigate. I know I look like I look like the number one suspect in more ways than one. Regardless, you should leave the door open to be safe. Gotta make sure you don't get cornered. Yeah. Stuffed bear? This is... This big teddy bear might have been Poochie's personal belonging. Ah. You better be careful, Master. It might suddenly start going... <laughs> Chat, that's why... That's why... That's how Monokuma laughs. The, the, the evil bear from the other killing game. <laughs> Solid reference, hell yeah. <laughs> it's just a teddy bear, as if something that strange could happen. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I can really hear it. <gasps> Cat ear headphones. Oh my god, she's such a gamer. Was a game. She was a gamer. <laughs> this is a set of cat ear headphones. Poochie must have had a lot of headphones. Hmm. She never took off her headphones, even in front of people, right? How rude. Let's not speak ill of the dead. I'm sure she had her reasons. She was Chiaki. Is this Poochie's bag? Maybe there's a weapon for self-defense inside. Not there. Maybe you could come to check it out. I'm sorry, Poochie. I'm taking a look inside. There's a change of clothes and travel supplies. No weapons or other self-defense items. Mm, it's a wash, then. It was sitting there like a treasure chest, so... I was hoping there'd be a rare metal inside. Why is this happening? Even Poochie... <laughs> Poochie! Master, let's move on if you're done here. There's no time to waste. Right. Where's Zonge? And Aphex, too. I haven't checked everything? It's like I'm not slacking off, okay? I'm getting back in the room. I didn't realize I missed something. Hello? Oh, I guess I didn't examine her corpse? It's Poochie's corpse. No. I can barely make out what's left of her face. Oh my god, her eyeballs are like just holes. She doesn't appear to have any external wounds. There's a blanket over her torso. Looks like she was burned when the blanket was set on fire. She was sleeping. Yep, it. 
Yeah, be quiet. Mm. No, no bodies in here. Wait, whose room is this? Whose bag is this? Oh, it's open. Is it okay for me to look inside? Uh, it could be a trap. You're a detective. Why even ask? Detectives search people's bags and cupboards all the time. Smashing pots to find what they want is part of the job. That's too much. Whose code Notice. is that? Oh look, charred corpses. World detective Check organization. Check to see if they're still alive from all those Zilch six Alexander. degree birds. Zilch? You are yes. hereby dispatched Dead to the Would special autonomous region the body. of Connor. It makes search makes sense if um he's not in his room because because we found him already. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the Master Detectives on site. Well, the letter's the same. Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. Is the agency the same? There, you will receive further instructions. I don't remember the details. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. This is a letter for Zilch. So, this must be his bag. The only things inside are work documents. Nothing else of note. Ah, that's no fun. Hmm. This is his? Oh, it's like furs. He's got like... Like, like fox furs around his collar. Oh. This is... Zilch's clothing brush. There's some fur stuck in the bristles. Then... Maybe he was a clean freak? Not that it matters now that he's burnt to a crisp. Zilch. This is... It's a glasses case with an animal print on it. There's nothing inside. This probably belongs to Zilch. Right. He was the only one on the train wearing glasses after all. Oh, this is the backup. This isn't a passenger room. Yeah. The sign says backup control room. Anything wow. tampered with in here? It looks like a secret base. Don't you want to destroy these whenever you see them? No. No. <laughs> There's no one here, so I should go look for help somewhere else. Wait, it looks like we're getting close to Kanai Ward. How about you check out that machine over there? Maybe it'll help you figure out what happened. It's okay, I won't break it. We got other cameras? Fine. You just gotta hit this thing and it'll be good as new! Oh my god, no. Oh jeez. Well, I wanna look at the map first. This is the train map. The shining part must be the train's current location. Where are you getting there? After we exit this long tunnel we just entered, we'll reach Kanai Ward in no time. It's been a long trip, but I'm sure it's been a shorter one for a certain napping detective. <laughs> Backup control system. What's this machine? There appears to be instructions. Backup control system? The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it'll switch to the backup system after one second. So the control system manages the electricity. Oh, well, we had a this power outage backup, for like one second. One. Hey, what about the file over here? What does it say? It looks like an explanation about autonomous driving. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Because of that, it can easily climb steep slopes. Hmm. I guess everything here relies on that control system. So, if you destroy the main and backup control systems, you can stop the train. Right now the control system but with is the doors so the train is still moving with no issues. The monitor displays an operation log, but there's no record that the train has stopped at all. Yeah. Master, while well, you were sleeping like a log, I never sensed the train stopping either. Huh. The doors won't open unless it stops and the windows are all locked. 
No one can get on or off while it's en route. Huh? What's wrong, Master? Camera? I noticed the backup control system is operating. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Duh! <laughs> well, it's better that it's running. All the electricity is managed by the control system, after all. Anyway, Master, I'm bored of this place. Let's move on already. Move on because you're bored? You want to see more dead bodies? That's what she wants. Oh, intercom. Oh, there's an intercom. In an emergency, press this button and speak into the receiver. Yeah, and now I'll report this to control headquarters and call for help. <sighs> it won't connect. Why? Sabotage. If it doesn't connect during an emergency, it's totally useless. If this system was completely automated, a report should have been sent to Control Headquarters about the fire. Maybe everyone in Control Headquarters is already dead, and you're the last living human in the world! That'd be a bit extreme. What a horrible thing to say. Uh, ooh, control device. Hmm. This looks like some kind of control device. It might be dangerous, so I shouldn't touch it. Right. Yeah, you wouldn't want to press the wrong button and cause the train to derail. But even though I want to smash everything in here. In the end, there weren't any survivors in this train car. You better go check the next one. Yeah, you're right. Let's go to the next one! Okie dokie. <sighs> Not my edgy boy, please. Um... Is anyone there? Please, no. Not him. <sighs> He's had it rough enough already. Watch out. Huh? Watch out for what? Why'd you say that? Why you got me concerned? Okay, there's no there's cutscene. Nothing here. So <laughs> I don't see luggage or anything else. If each person gets their own room, then someone got nothing, right? It can't be. Yep, it's nothing. Magazines? Hmm? There are magazines scattered on the desk. Eek! There's a pro wrestling magazine! What are the hot. What? What are the hot angles these days? I was expecting a naughty magazine. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with the case. Let's look somewhere else. A jacket. Uh, Who does this jacket belong to? Looks like something Apex would wear. Say. Did you check the pockets? There's nothing inside. Hmm. If we don't know who it belongs to, it doesn't make a very good clue. Shoot. Magazines and t okay, yeah, this boy's a degenerate. This is. There are lots of tissues on the table. Maybe he can't turn down free samples when people hand them out. <laughs> oh yeah, so many reasons for why someone would keep tissues next to the bed. <laughs> oh, what are you implying, Shinigami? <laughs> She's just like me for real. <laughs> uh. I think that's it for this room. I can't run, I don't think. Oh. No! Okay. Okay! How did this happen? I'm not surprised, but oh, no! I'm walking with loaded faces! <laughs> what? Do you think this is funny because you're a death god? No. No. <laughs> I think it's awesome! Oh. My heart's fluttering with Are you filled with despair? It takes to reach it so uh, This is all wrong. His phone. 
<gasps> Did he record something? You away the gas mask. Shut up. Sange, he's burnt to a crisp. I can just barely discern his face, though. I can't find any particular external wounds, just like the other corpses. He was also incinerated in a burning blanket, like Zilch in the first car and Poochie in the third one. All three of them were sleeping in bed and murdered by immolation? Oh, what's this? Yes! Zange's cell phone. Maybe his photography left something behind. Please! No good. Just a video of me drinking coffee. Aww. Oh, when she was still alive! <laughs> you can't help me solve this mess. Zonde. That's four of them. Who could have done this? <gasps> Wait! No, don't blame him right away. There are just six people on the train, including myself. Yes. And I found four bodies. Yes. Zilch, Melanie, Pucci, and Zange. The only one left is... Apex? I mean, he wasn't in his room, but he could be in, the, in, in another car. Took you long enough. I knew from the very start. You still need work, Master. I'll be sure to train you well. So Apex is the culprit? No! He murdered the others in such a deranged way? No! He's got a short fuse, so maybe it was a crime of passion. He probably lied about being a master detective. But he had a... he had a... a, a forte. No, he's a master detective for sure. I sensed him use his powers. Mm-hmm. You sensed it? Hmm. But if he betrayed the WDO and became an Amaterasu Corporation spy... See, that's what I said. They could still have powers if... If they were once a part of the agency and then left. It's reasonable to conclude he killed the other master detectives to sabotage our efforts. Anyway, time to boom kill that psycho! You were totally about to say that, right, Master? Uh, no. <laughs> Not at all. If he finds me, I'm done for. I'm actually surprised you haven't died yet. You look like you'd be the first to die. <laughs> I won't deny it. I probably got overlooked. I was maybe they're trying to, to frame you. In the first car, but I passed out in the restroom, right? They didn't go looking maybe for you. That's why the killer didn't find me. Maybe the killer only thought there were five of them. <sighs> oh, how? I just remembered. Huh? What's up? Master, I told you that while you were passed out, no one came to the restroom. Right. But one time, the door did open, I think. You think? You were in there! By the time I noticed, the door closed again. I don't know who was there. Now that I think about it, could it have been that guy with the short views? So, Apex? you let me go? Why? Hmm. Maybe he thought you weren't even worth killing. You're an incompetent guy with amnesia. That wasn't a diss, just a fact. I know. <laughs> oh! Now that we know who the culprit is, we have to find him before the train arrives. Find him and do what? Catch him, of course. And it's all up to you, Master. <laughs> oh, he could beat me up. That's impossible. He's probably dead. It's fine. There's no time to waste. Nothing's fine about it. Is there anything else? A bag. A notebook. This looks like Sange's bag. There's nothing inside that matters. You sure? This is... These might belong to Zange. They look well used, so they could be really old. Say! Why don't you look inside the notebook? There might be something about the case. It seems to be records of past cases he handled. But there isn't any information about this current case. Yeah, maybe he thought he was already dead? Because we were passed down on the floor? Yo, check, check! Clothes! This is... There are women's clothes on the bed. I wonder if they belong to Melamy. Yeah, that's right! Those are some flashy threads. She definitely gets some looks in the city. But now she's all burned up. Guess she won't be wearing it anymore. 
Melami, why did she have to die? I miss her too. Travel bag. This no, is... no, not the clothes. Yeah, that's... But the travel bag. <laughs> travel bag. Bag, bag. It's a woman's travel bag. There's a name here. Melami Goldmine. <laughs> Looks like makeup and travel supplies. Nothing noteworthy. Hey, did you check to see if someone's hiding nearby? Huh? Yeah, no one's here. You sure? You sure? <laughs> what if he's hiding in the back? Even a child couldn't hide in there. You don't know that. You're up against a master detective, remember? What if there's a master detective who has the appearance of a child, but the mind of an adult? Like... Like our character? <laughs> of course there isn't. You sure about that? I think there's totally a detective like that out there. Hmm. This is... There's a pouch of cosmetics on the desk. This must belong to Melanie. But she'll never use it again. Don't say that! Oh, no. Well? You shouldn't apply makeup to fresh burns after all! Kia! <laughs> gaming is not allowed. Mm-hmm. Is this the last car? Oh, is the train stopping? Wait! Wait! We need to investigate! We have to find Apex! It got brighter. Guess we made it through the tunnel. Which means we're almost there! At this rate, you'll let the murderer escape! Oh! Pro tip is very submissive what and head this time? Master, you gotta hurry! The next train car is the fifth one. Mm -hmm. This train has five cars in total. Yes, so thank you, Master Detective. Oh, but. But you can access the fifth car, <gasps> oh. the one at the end. The door appears to be broken. It's and like won't I can open. still hear her voice. <laughs> The door was supposed to be broken, right? Master, you better hurry! Hey, it opened. Was it repaired? Huh? Oh! It's been wrecked. What happened here? Huh? Master, look over there! Why does it look moldy? What is that? Oh no, no! A dead body. Beep, beep, boop, boop. No way. There can't be a fifth corpse. Well, there is. Look, you looking at him. Because that would mean everyone except me is dead. That Something makes you the prime suspect, please. I'm getting confused now. Anyway, time to investigate. Okay. <sighs> Why does it look like he gooped everywhere? Maybe is that, is that just the carpet burn being burnt? There's no blanket though. This isn't a fake. It's a real corpse, isn't it? It's Apex. It is without a single doubt the bona fide remains of a human. So. Zange and Pucci were both sleeping in bed, and they had the blankets on them. Zilch was in the infirmary, but he was also stabbed? <gasps> Maybe that's why he was in the infirmary. He must have been stabbed first. But then... Wait. It doesn't make any sense, though. Oh... <laughs> uh, but then... Melamy Melamy was just face down. And now Aphex is also they both didn't have blankets. I'm positive about that. 
I specialize in They were like really, really focusing on the fact that the blankets burn now. I'll check for signs of life, just in case. No, he's completely dead. Huh? <laughs> His chains are still good, though. <laughs> His necklace looks familiar. Familiar? Wait, it's the same one Aphex was wearing. N yeah. <laughs> Looking at the body type of the corpse, it matches the guy with the short fuse. His face is burns beyond recognition, but could this really be Aphex? You know, looking at this body, his was the hardest to figure out because we pretty much saw the features of everybody else. But this one is a little harder. I don't know. I don't think I don't think the necklace would be unscathed. This this looks like a setup. Unbelievable, but it seems like it. It's too shiny. So his cause of death was also fire? One of them's faking their death. Maybe. Although it was kind of weird that he's very crispy. Yeah. So so the the first the first fire we saw seemed like it happened pretty suddenly. So I don't know if they. But still. Yeah, I don't see any other. That's the thing with fire is that the body identification can be a little bit um uh it can be obscured. Wait, there's an injury on his chest. Huh? You were stabbed too? Hey, you're right. I'm surprised you noticed. Is it a stab wound? Looks like he was pierced with a blade. If that's the case, was he stabbed to death? Is this... Is this Zilch's, Zilch's quote-unquote body? Is this Zilch's body? No, he could have been incapacitated by the stabbing and then burned. How? What? That was in the car behind us. It's impossible to determine the cause of death with what we have. Oh, you've gone full throttle in this investigation. Good job. To Thank me you. For being your mentor. But why Aphex? I'm asking rhetorical questions. Please don't answer any of my questions in the chat. <laughs> is real too. Thank you for verifying. It says main control room B. It's no use. It won't open. Locked. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. Right, because the backup one's on. Hey, master. So did someone damage? Maybe someone's hiding in there. Any way you can bust it open? Uh. I don't think so. The door looks too sturdy. Also, I don't think it's possible for someone to be hiding in there. What do you mean? Like, like right in front of the door. Aphex and Poochie both said that there were only six people on the train. So it's one of them. So including me, there can only be six of us here. This game's interesting, you may have to get it. You also might like Danganronpa. The Danganronpa series. But, uh, it's a little bit different. Instead of like a 3D space like this, it's more of a visual novel. Hmm, I see. Oh, why are there two control rooms in a single train car? They probably have control rooms so it can go in either direction. This is the last car for where we're heading, but it'll be the front car on the way back. Yeah, Danganronpa is one of my favorite franchises, like, of all time. Because <laughs> y'all know I'm, I love the horror genre. And I like trap room horror, like Saw. And Danganronpa is pretty much like a trap room murder mystery, where they're forced to kill each other. <laughs> oh, well, now that you mention it, there is a control room in the front train car too. Yeah. Right. So this is the this is the outside door. It won't open. But this is the last train car. There's nowhere else to go from here.
There's no number. Oh, is this another infirmary? Yeah, it says infirmary. This is... The bed in the infirmary is burnt and flipped on its side. Hmm? Why is only this bed turned over like this? Hmm. Maybe it's to hide evidence of some kind. Just a hunch. Huh? Hey, there's a fire extinguisher here. Hmm? Maybe someone noticed the fire and tried to put it out? Hmm. I wonder. This is... There are medical devices here, just like those in car one. Hey! This train is unmanned, right? If there's no one on the train who knows how to use this sort of device, then why even have one? This is... There's an AED set up in the infirmary, but there's no sign it was used. <laughs> no point in using it on someone already burnt to a crisp! <laughs> You're right! Huh. What is this? This goo. This goopy goo. The restroom is in terrible shape. Yeah, well, what the is? Mirror is cracked and covered in soot. Oh, it's soot. Oh. There's no one inside. Damn. What happened in here? Can I squeeze in there? No, I can't examine anything in here. Those bidets, yo. Is there a number? Yeah! There's no numbers! You didn't even have to point it out to me for me to notice because I'm a master detective! I've played all the Danganronpa games! Huh? <laughs> That's weird. This area seems more burnt somehow. Maybe there was something flammable in there. See? Look there! There are traces of something that got burned. It looks like it's all scratched. Is that some sort of plate displaying the train car number? Why would they have to hide that? But why is this the only one completely burnt? It doesn't seem particularly flammable. No, you're not gonna pick it up and look at it some more? Control this room A. Main control room. Is this one open? It's no use. It won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. Mm-hmm. Same old, same old. There are other places to check out, you know. Sh sure. Yeah, sure. that's right! Love it when you're obedient, Master? Um... <laughs> I think our roles are a little bit reversed here. Was there something in the bathroom that I missed? I feel like it's kind of strange that it doesn't want me to. We're not gonna talk about the ceiling tile? The very obvious ceiling tiles? No? No, you don't wanna bring that up? Body. Did did we? Yes. Got a check mark. Hey. Yeah, he still got his necklace on. Chest wound. So, yeah, so I, I definitely right. missed something. Ooh. 
we keep looking. Let me retrace my steps. specifically said we could unlock it. This is... Hmm? Hmm. To hide evidence. Can we move it? Can we move the bed. Ghost? If it's here to hide evidence... Can we move it? It looks like clothing here. This is... Hmm? Move it! Hmm. Medical equipment... Boxes up here? No. No. Door key! Oh, what's this? What is it? Did you find something? The interior lock is open right now, but there's something odd about the latch. Look, there appears to be blood on it. <gasps> hmm? Oh, you're right. And it's not pink? Let me try to slide it. Oh! That's a blood stain, all right. But why is blood there? The door was locked when something happened in here. It seems the blood got on there while the door was locked. That's evidence of something for sure. No harm keeping it in mind. I was kind of hoping for pink blood. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. It's gonna be awkward when we get off the train. We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please mind your belongings. Master, we are almost at the station! You have to catch the culprit! Catch who? <laughs> everyone besides me is dead! Well, that's questionable. Are you sure it's everyone? Calm down and count again. Silch in car one. We need to go back and look at this body. We need to go back and verify if that body's still even there. Melanie in car two. Poochie in car three. Zonga in car four. And Aphex in car five. See? That's five. Everyone besides We need to go back! <laughs> That makes you the only possible killer, Master. Did he do it? <laughs> no, that's not possible. You were there with me. But I can't say for certain. I lost my memories, and now I'm seeing a death god. There's something wrong with me. Death gods are said to reap human souls. Maybe because I'm being haunted by one. You need to feed it. Maybe subconsciously. I... We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please watch your step while exiting the train. It's like chapter one of V3 all over again. Finished! I didn't finish investigating! No, no, no! No! I need to verify evidence. Where's the evidence? You're stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Stupid, 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 stupid! That's a real quote from the Danganronpa game. <laughs> We've arrived! What's it gonna be, huh? What are you gonna do? I... I don't know. <laughs> huh? What? This looks bad! Step out of it! Run! Run? But... <laughs> How do you know? How do you know that... The SWAT team's coming in! Master, those guys from before are still on the platform! Run to the front train car! Why is this happening to me? We're gonna go back and see that the body's not there. Ah, they're coming in! We gotta go! I wonder if Master...
monster can even make snap judgments. Danger dodge! You might find yourself in the pinch during the course of detective work. Follow the... Quick time events! No! no! Doesn't make mistakes. No! Right? 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 Who are these people? The police? Yeah. They're not your friends, that much is for sure. <laughs> Considering the state of the crime scene, they're totally gonna pin it on you. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. But... That wasn't obvious. They set you up, dude. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, the there's like vibration on with the controller. I'm sorry if you can hear it. They're gonna arrest you! Run! Oh shit! I wasn't expecting the the fucking analog sticks to be a quick time. <laughs> Whoa, why'd you land like that, bro? Look! You didn't even look inside?! It's so obvious, please! They even gave you a shot. They gave you a hint! They- they dropped the clue on you! They got lightsabers! Yo! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> We're surrounded. Oh, looks like you're done for. Wait, please listen to me. I can explain. No, you can't. Huh. What's that to talk about? Who's you're a master detective of the WDO, aren't ya? The name's Swank Katsunel. Swank? I'm Amaterasu Corporation's peacekeeper. Swank? His nah, his grill says money. <laughs> no way. I'm a Tarasu. Oh, my God, the, the yen and dollar sign symbol. They had to translate, so they added more to the tattoo. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know that this symbol means money. <laughs> don't act like you don't know. You're a WDO detective for crying out loud. You got a snake on its tie? Yeah, you, you seem like a slimy guy. Or oh, and he's got a snake catch. sort of imposter. The scar on his eye is a snake, too. <laughs> no, I'm not. I think. You think? Yeah. There's a barcode on the side of his. I don't think that's supposed to. Is that supposed to be like that? Well, I don't care either way. Oh my god, not the What's smoke on the that cigar. It has already been decided. Which is? The peacekeepers are the defenders of law and executioners in Kanai Ward. If the unjust wander into my space, they will be eliminated. <laughs> the, the, the skull and crossbones and the smoke. Oh shit! These sprites are really, really creative. Eliminated? Hey. Is it Kanai Ward under the complete control of Amaterasu? Hmm. Meaning, these people are like the police here. Yeah, or like, um... Yeah, mob boss. Police? But it's just some company security department. Hey! Who are you talking to? Alright! You're the only one who can he see He has a really punchable a face. Master. Oh! So it's like I'm... <laughs> it's like I'm talking to myself?! He's gonna think I'm really crazy. I'm gonna get this game when I get the chance. Point, huh? 
I love how this game makes you think. Yeah. I mean, so does the Danganronpa series. Very, very similar. Don't laugh. Help me. Very different, though. Alaska similar but different. Who do you Holy think shit. You're talking to, huh? Talk I'm sorry. Yeah, I know I'm suspicious, but uh... tell me how you're gonna explain this situation. I'm gonna use my master detective powers. We've prepared that trip. Welcome you all here. But an internal fight sprawling into a bloodbath was unexpected. It, it's not what it looks like. There's a perfectly logical explanation behind this. Huh? You're the culprit. Huh? Nobody is anybody else looking at the other exits to the train, by the way? Well, that was direct. Master, try your best to beat him. In a fist fight. No, I really don't know anything. Everyone was killed while I was asleep. <laughs> Bro, that argument is so fucking weak. <laughs> I don't think so. While the other detectives were asleep, you killed them. As proof as the coffee and why. Well, is that proof? You've been holding that coffee cup the whole time. I didn't notice the wine bottle. Huh? What the? We found coffee and wine in the dining car. Y yeah. When we checked the second car earlier, I had a subordinate drinking. You can see what happened. But we drank some of the coffee. Looks like some sort of knockout drug was mixed into it. Oh, is that why we didn't feel good? So everybody went to lay down because they didn't feel good. Drug? Which means you drugged the other detectives and killed them while they were passed out. Yeah, they thought I was already dead. But then why were the other bodies burned? Wow, he may just be a lowly grunt, but he knows his stuff. He could be trouble. Why do you sound so impressed? So did you figure out the cause of death? Yes, they all burned to death. Huh? All of them? How cruel of you. Did you see five bodies, though? That's very important. Did you, like, actually see five? Do you have them all lined up? What's your endgame in this? Is it money? Or is it money? What? <laughs> if it's money, then hand over everything you swiped. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. He just wants money. That's no fair. I'm not the culprit. Yes, you are! You're the culprit! No, I... I'm not the perpetrator. We have proof. But... Do we I have proof! We have sure. proof! We have proof! The phone! In this situation... Zange! Zange's phone! Besides me could have done it. There were without a doubt only six people on the train. And five of them were killed. We have proof of us drinking the coffee though. So the only possibility is... Just admit it! I know you're the culprit! I don't want to say it, but... <laughs> Somebody else is in that photo giving us the coffee! <laughs> no! I don't want that to be true! What am I supposed to do? Admit it now! You're guilty! I don't want it to be I no, we have proof, you dumbass! That you're a detective! Come on, confess! <sighs> Maybe it's better if I confess for now. No! It could be better to get through this now no. and get some time to Get think the about evidence! It. Why confess if you didn't do it? Master, <laughs> you're an idiot! I'll <laughs> both kill you! Thank you! Huh? You heard me? I didn't say it out loud. Yeah, the engraving on his grill says money. 
There you go again, talking to yourself. Must be crazy or something. I hear your thoughts, too. I told you we share the same mind and body. So, Zilch and Melami are obviously the two most obvious. One, because of the body evidence. And the fact that, that Zilch, Zilch's body had the same step. Or no, not, no. It's not Zilch. Apex. Apex. Yeah. Because Apex... Because we saw Zilch. We saw his face and his hair and everything get burnt. So then, to disguise his body, he would have switched... He would have put his perfectly clean, untainted gold chain around... Around the dead Zilch's body. To frame it like Aphex's body. So the Aphex is, s is sus. Like, really fucking sus. Because we weren't actually able to verify whether or not it was him. But... Hmm... But, maybe Melanie... Maybe it wasn't. No, it had to have been drugged. Maybe it wasn't drugged, actually, when we drank it. Anyway, never mind that. Why are you giving up already? Well, there's nothing I can do. Wrong. The mystery solving has just begun. True. Why did you make a contract with me to begin with? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Stop talking to yourself, <laughs> you unstable psycho! <laughs> Bring him down, men! Confiscate anything of value he has while you're at it. Oh, don't sound so pitiful! I'll show you what I'm made of right now! Come on, master! I don't know, am I? <laughs> now we're talking. It's Junko. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. What is this? Oh no. What's happening? My cosplay senses are are tingling. Oh, everybody's frozen. Are we going to make her crown and horns on my next crafting stream? <laughs> I mean, Don't hit me like that, mommy. Yeah! I mean, uh, <laughs> What's Next this? cosplay goal! What's going on? <laughs> ah, who are you? What do you mean? I've been with you the entire time! Wait... Oh, You're be Shinigami? still my heart! Oh, right! Guess you can't tell because I'm not puppy anymore. I can only access the mystery labyrinth if I'm at full power, so I had to change forms. But some parts of me are still nice and puffy. <laughs> Wanna touch? <laughs> I'm uh, okay. Anyway, what's going on? It's like time has stopped. Stop making me I'm horny! My weakness, hot women. And what's that hole? <laughs> that hole is connected to the mystery lottery. Oh. <laughs> you don't say that to a woman. <laughs> Wait, you have to tell me. What's a mystery labyrinth? I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Let's save it. <laughs> Damn. I love her. <laughs> she even has like a 
Like a like a titty mole, but it's a question mark. What is this? The circus? Vegas? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Why are we leashed up like that? <laughs> Bro, calm down! <laughs> Get on your knees. Okay, what mommy. You in exchange for your memories, master. Oh shit! <laughs> Past me knew what he was doing. <laughs> what on earth did Shinigami slip us? You did this, Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Hmm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. It's got that kind of vibe, right? An alternate universe. Mm-hmm. Hey, you don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome. And here comes the wolf chasing the little kitty cat. Well, <laughs> this is woo. A woo. Universe. Check this out. Ta-da! This is the mystery labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. That's pretty badass. <laughs> Materializes mysteries? It's very much my brand. The skulls, the fire, the mystery. <laughs> Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, actually she does have a figure. A mystery labyrinth. I was actually just looking at it earlier, like like a few days ago. I'm getting it now. <laughs> now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. This maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this mystery labyrinth. And that's why we were able to come here in the first place. Anyway. Oh my god, does she have like a like a a giant pink ring? Master, we're gonna beat the Amateur oh, those are her gloves. Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth. What happens when we beat it? In every case, there's a hidden truth. And we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. I didn't think I was gonna like her as much as I do now, but I, I wanna be her! <laughs> so, if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. Nami analyzing her outfit? Don't call me out like that! <laughs> How did you fucking know I'm staring at <laughs> Yeah. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. We'll discover the killer's identity, too? You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. Huh? They're two sides of the same coin. This is interesting. But... I should be paying attention. you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. Also, why, have a cape? why do I have a cape now? I'm getting, uh, Kokichi Oma vibes. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be, too. Killers in real world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is gonna be a tough battle. So you're saying there are traps in there? Yep. Looks like you're finally getting it. Hmm. Now that I've explained it all, let's head into the dungeon. Okay. Hold on. I, I don't understand any of this. We'll learn. It's all right. Seriously, you don't get it? Uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. This one is formed from the murder on the Amaterasu Express. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth, if we keep going, the Amaterasu Express case will be solved? Yep, you totally get it. So you guys are looking at the jiggle physics. I am looking at how the fuck this gravity-defying bow is attached to her fucking back. How? 
Why do you have to be so anime? What? I don't get anything. How am I gonna this do that? <laughs> Sheesh. This is why you're a bench warmer detective. You're in an alternate universe and hung up on details. Of course I am. Okay. Uh, I'll explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Chat, it's been way longer than eight seconds. That'll make all your worries disappear. <laughs> She's so right. <laughs> no, it won't. Please, explain everything now. Relax, relax. I'll tell you in due time. <laughs> Don't need to ask me, toys. Come <laughs> on, let's go. Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Oh, oh my god. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention the important keys. Whoopsie. Huh? Jeez. Well, yeah, her cinders, you six mean pyro for opening look. doors in the dungeon? Yeah, something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. They're called solution keys, and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So, where do I find them? Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. You kinda had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. For starters, try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. The Amaterasu Express? Uh... Why are you asking that? Like, it's... <sighs> the Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. Mm. Could put it's an automated, unmanned train the with five cars. It's doors well, the shape isn't the issue, it's how it attaches. Because something like that is going to be very heavy, and she has a very fitted dress that doesn't show, it won't like hide any attachment. That's the issue. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. your solution key what <laughs> you just vomit up a key the map the other map yes so this is a solution just key three? but why did it come out of your mouth? Mm, what do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. I worked really hard developing this method. <laughs> you put thought into this? <laughs> what? <laughs> so that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Let's keep reviewing what happened in this case. All right, I'll do my best. Uh, the incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving. Hmm. Including myself, there were six master detectives on board. Mm -hmm. Aphex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Here's your little recap for those of you who weren't here. <laughs> Testimonies of two detectives. And who died first again? It was Zilch and the first car's infirmary. I don't think it was him. Or no, it was him. Yes. I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door. Yes, because we saw his face. Looking and like through his the hair. window, I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole area. I hurried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge because it was locked. Does that mean this was a locked room mystery? Technically. Not really. Oh. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. Mm, oh, well, well, the train fun. was locked. That's what I meant. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. 
Why does she sound excited? She's a death god. That's why. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car. Give me a second. But I found Melamy's corpse there. I think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. Ooh, a flambe! A human flambe. No! Okay, so this is this is an interesting an interesting thing. I'm kind of covering it, but it says it has like a little description. And it says that Melamy's corpse was burned to a crisp, but the face is still barely recognizable. I wonder what it's going to say when we get to the last body. Hmm. But um I'm gonna take like a really, really small, quick break. I just have to go pee. I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta go pee really quick. So, um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave you on on starting screen, and I'll be right back. Like like two minutes, okay? I'll be right back. Bye bye bye.
come back, come back, come back, come back. You ready to keep playing? <laughs> okay. So, uh, right. Uh, Melanie's face was still barely recognizable. That reminds me, something was off about car two right before the train entered the tunnel. There was a strange shaking. Oh, and the, the lights, the, the power went off. Isn't that him entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure, uh, wind stuff. Hmm. And there was a blackout right after, although it only lasted a moment. And then the backup, the backup controls turned on. Yeah, what was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel too? Hmm, was no. there? When we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. Hmm. There was something else, too. Something that happened when we were in the fourth car. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. There was a blackout and a shaking when the train car entered the tunnel. There was another shaking when the train exited the tunnel. And the next corpse was the little girl in the third car? Yeah, it was Poochie. Poochie! Another burnt body. Just like the first two cars. Poochie's corpse discovered in car three. It was burnt to a crisp, crisp, but the face is just barely recognizable. Oh yeah, wasn't there a secret face thing in the third car? What? You mean the backup control system? <laughs> I remember something about that. Huh? The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. Anything hmm. else you can remember? I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? What do you think about that? The backup control system status was operating. Did the main control system fail? Well, the train never stopped, so it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? Come on, give me a second. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, right? He was Don't also call him a geezer. Was there anything strange about that corpse? He didn't have any external wounds, but he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography ability. The evidence! Oh yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. It's evidence! Anyway, forget about the geezer for now. Don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. Huh? <laughs> She's so mean! Zange's corpse discovered in car 4. The entire body has been burnt to a crisp. They didn't say anything about being able to recognize him, though. The Zange's forte created this recorded image. It was saved in the cell phone found on his corpse. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is! But the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. That confirmed nothing! That necklace was way too pristine, shiny, shine, shine. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. Just like the first body we saw. Hmm. Burnt corpse thought to belong to Apex had what appeared to be a stab wound in its chest. Also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, the fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. 
maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. Or... Wait a minute. 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 Wait! The door to the fifth car was supposedly jammed shut. And this is the- this is the car with the most fire damage? Did he fucking trap everybody in here? Everybody burnt to death in this room. And then he planted the bodies? Because it was only the bodies that were burnt. Nothing near the bodies were burnt. Except for the blankets. Although the exception would be, would be Zilch because we saw him get burnt. Oh. And the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. That's the stab wound! The infirmary in car 5 was locked from the inside. There was a small amount of blood splattered on the interior lock. Uh-huh. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station, According to the Peacekeeper's reports, they all burned to death. But that part seems off to me. Yeah, you sure about that? And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Game's been out for almost two months. Yeah, I wanted to play it right when it came out. I've been so fucking excited to play this game. But that was, that was, uh, I think it came out during Ofkai. And then I had a ton of stuff. I was so busy during those two months. Yeah, I think that's everything of note. <gasps> Not again! <laughs> what a big catch! This should be enough solution keys to solve it. But... I still don't know how to use them. Master, you worry too much. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Yeah. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important too. Solution keys are a manifestation of clues related to a case, like truth bullets. <laughs> you can acquire or update one by investigating the case and moving the story along. Sure hope you got all that down. Acquired solution keys can be viewed in the notebook menu. Try checking one out if a mystery labyrinth becomes too difficult to solve. And <laughs> not for me. <laughs> Shinigami's tutorial quarter. Oh, this is cute. Labyrinth skills are abilities that can help you clear mystery labyrinths. Acquire them by spending skill points, which you get when your detective rank increases. And we're what rank five? Hey, Master, do you need a power up? <gasps> oh, we have a skill Except tree. Whichever skills suit you best. Time to head off in search of the truth. Let's solve this thing. Yeah. Will things really turn out fine? <laughs> yeah. You're the protagonist. Trust in your detective skills. Can I upgrade? Although we should see what we're getting into first. Yo, skull's on fire! It's so me! So, this is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hey, if we keep going, will we really get to the truth? Come on, would I lie to you? I don't think so. I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So, let's go. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you and me both, girl. <laughs> You're what? <laughs> oh my god, I love her. <laughs> One hundred percent Junko and Monokuma in the same body. <laughs> There are places in the mystery labyrinth where the path just goes on and on. You can't move on until the scene plays out, so keep following the path until it does. Hmm. Whoa! 
materialize the mysteries. Hmm. You have no intelligence or autonomy. <laughs> All they do is manifest the mysteries in the labyrinth. No brain! But since you are here to defeat mysteries, they're kind of like obstacles. Great. So in other words, they're the enemy. Of course. As a detective seeking the truth, mysteries are your greatest enemy. Hmm. This is so cool. Hmm? <gasps> what, what <is> that? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, he's gonna get bigger. <gasps> huh? That's the that's the guy. What happened to you? What the? There are monsters here! That's a mystery phantom. A mystery phantom? What's that? A I boss. told you that cues make mysteries materialize, right? Well, if there's someone in the real world trying to interfere with the case, that person also materializes. Hmm, you're trying to interfere. That's a mystery phantom. <laughs> this is a Cinder cosplay? You guys, you guys wouldn't want a goal for that or anything. Right? Yeah. I'm glad we can agree on that. Interfering with the case? Hey, doesn't he kind of look like Swank of the Peacekeepers? He does. Looks like he's going to a KISS concert. If the Peacekeepers are tied up in this, then maybe this incident has something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. You... You're the culprit! Me? Huh? No. Oh, he's getting big. He's a grower. And a shower. Since all the Wait. other passengers <laughs> on the train are dead, you're the only one who could have done the crime. So you're the culprit. That's the truth behind this case! Master, he's trying to frame you to bury the case. Hmm. If you can't get past this, you can't reach the truth. What do I do? Should I just run away? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a detective doesn't run from a mystery. You've got to defeat him. Defeat him? How? Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? I'm ready to give my life for you. I mean, yeah. The truth. Huh? Just say I am. <laughs> He's not gonna rob, but gonna copy your homework. I'll change it a bit. <laughs> I mean, I have cosplayed Junko. You guys know that. She is one of my favorite characters to cosplay. I, I am. Hmm. Thank you for all these really uh, high up close, high quality detail shots. God damn, we are the perfect type. Come closer. Fuck, she's hot. 
tricky. Um, what? I was just I debating on it. whether or not I should add a cosplay goal to my stream for 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 her. Uh, can I cosplay that part? <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, that's... I mean, she did say she was horny. And I also have horns. <laughs> Tricky. <laughs> um, I don't know, I, I haven't had much time to make cosplay lately, but... <laughs> Can I be Yuma? <laughs> uh, <laughs> hmm. I could probably do some of this on stream. Like the small bows, like the hair bows, the one on her chest. Horns, crown, flower hair clip. I could probably... Mm, I don't know how I'd sew on stream. You guys. I might need to commission the wig again. Oh, wig commissions like that are so expensive. Uh, literally fucking defies gravity. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to build it all on stream. I'd have to see. Okay, I'm unsure, I'm unsure if I would be making the entire thing. I'm not sure if I'd be hand making it all myself. Probably some of it. I could always get another one commissioned and make some pieces. Okay. A goal just for it to happen. Regardless of how much of it is made by me. Even if you can't build it on stream, you have to at least wear this cosplay. It is a moral obligation. Okay, the things I do make, the things I do end up making would be on stream. And I'm not guaranteeing that it will be worn to a convention. There, there would be pictures. I just don't have any cons lined up. Cindergami? No ETA. No ETA. Can you make the bow separately and add an attachment to it? I have no idea how long this would take. Um, especially with how busy I am. Hmm. The sword is really cool, and it has her horns. What if I get this? Sword too? No, the sword matches him more. It could be like a long-term goal. I can learn sword swallowing. Yeah. <laughs> you want a goal. And we have similar body types. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the goal total cinder most will probably be funded by me and You it. stop that. You stop that. It doesn't have to be like a today only goal. Okay? Cindergami, yeah. <laughs> Shindagami. 
うん死んだマイジャパニーズネームオッケーオッケーホーバンホーバンホーバンホーバンゲミューサイゲンゲミューサイゲン Keep the goal hidden and tell you when you reach it? Oh, that's not as, ex as exciting. Then you wouldn't even know. Okay, so let's just say if I did get it commissioned, if I didn't have time to make it. With okay, at least I have my my cosplay as as like a reference for for commission prices and the wig. Oh my god, the wig. Um. Okay. Um. <laughs> People be like, no, but then what is gold? <laughs> Do we beckon Cinder to learn sword play and depose the king by means of a demon? All things considered. Have fun. I'm gonna play. I call it the Solution Blade. It's a sword with special powers to affect things in the Solution Blade? Element. Use that to boom kill the mystery phantom. Let's do this. I'll make Whoa, it a tiny bit bigger. <laughs> How do I use this? I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Anyway. you take here is nothing to sniff at. It's not like an injury in the real world, but still. The more and more your mind realizes you've been hurt here, oh boy. You'll wind up brain dead. It'll be game over, time to start from the beginning again. No one wants that, so you'd better be super careful. Come on, pay attention. Traps and obstacles lie in wait inside the mystery labyrinth. Make a mistake while facing them and master's stamina will decrease. You're dead, master? <laughs> it's game over when the stamina runs out, so be careful as you uncover the truth. Let's do, let's fight! So fucking metal, holy shit. I'll tell you a mystery labyrinth. Doing the reasoning death knot. Erase my cinder tax. Thank you, Leafy. Thank you for the thousand biddies. Moa, what the fuck? Did that alert play? Huh? Thank you! Thank you for 10,000! Holy shit, thank you so much! Thank you! <clears throat> okay. A strong start, yeah. <laughs> uh, mystery. Fund. Fund?! <laughs> Holy shit! My cinder tanks. 23,855! <laughs> Is there a significance behind the number? Thank you! Holy shit, thank you so much! 
Thank you, Gilgamesh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So, so all the bits, all the bits will um, will be uh, contributed to the goal, no matter how small. So, uh, thank you. My cinder tax. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Holy shit. Huh. Let's get this rolling. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to back it up. Rex Reaper, Striker, Mind of Maverick. Thank you, so Slinger begins. Omega. Thank you for the thousand biddies. Thank you, Dan. Rex, do nuzzles you? Ooh. It ain't much. Agent! But it's honest work. Agent, that's a lot of biddies! Cinder, six pyro, let's go, new goal. You know what happens when you mention a goal. Huh? You guys, it's not a goal for today. Probably for however long it takes me to beat the game. Holy shit. Agent, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I guess you really want to see me in this dress, huh? <laughs> Twin Flame Wolf, thank time. you. Mount Freyan, oh my god. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Thank you. Send that tax. Thank you, thank you for the biddies. Thank you, Mount Freyan. Oh. I don't Jay. even need to see you in the cosplay. I just need to know it happened. Stop. The nerd in me won't rest until this cosplay exists. <laughs> Jay, thank you for 500 bitties. Snowies, thank you for the bits. Bits go burn. Ah, Talos, thank you. Nick, thank you for the thousand bitties. Shyastro, thank you. Captain Platypus, Sora, Lee, thank you guys so much. Thank you for cheering. Thank you, thank you. Dodge, 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 dodge. Uh, hold on, did I miss that? Mystery Phantom will attack while making statements about the case. Very Danganronpa. And getting hit by a statement means taking damage. So move up, down, Cinder, left, and right to avoid derp, it. Just placing my brick. Thank you, Nico. Come on, pay attention. If you dodge a statement at the very last second, it becomes a daring dodge. Ooh, the more daring dodges you make, the bigger the bonus the you'll get later. Goal is a goal, and we will reach it. Thank you, Slinger. Thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't you forget. The bonus for successful daring dodges is based on the max amount you can dodge in one cycle. There's a cat. Don't let any shady statements slip by. Inflammable statements give you a chance to counterattack. Statements might contain a contradiction. Slash through it with the solution blade and fight back against the phantom. The master doesn't make mistakes. To expose right. a contradiction, you gotta right. pick the right solution key. Right. The key's already set in the solution blade this time, so find the contradictory inflammable statement and slash it. Yeah. If we hit the goal, take as much time as you need to to make the cosplay as best as you can make it. Thank you. <laughs> cinder, six thumbs up, Cinder, six thumbs Thank up, you, Cinder, Snake. six thumbs up, Cinder, six thumbs up. Slash those suspicious statements! And you'll destroy it if it's right. Oh. If it's wrong, you'll take them. Crusty prey! Yeah, My Cinder yeah, tech, Cinder, yeah, six yeah, rave, yeah, Cinder, Thank six you, KB! Yeah, yeah, Thank you! Here's the pizza, yeah! Okay. You Dodge and then X is rebuttal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta prepare my solution blade. Coffee in the dining room. You're the culprit behind this case. You murdered five bastard detectives. That's the only <laughs> explanation. Everyone else is dead. Look at me dodge. Last You're second. The only one who could have done the crime. That's wrong. I'll slice through this mystery. I'll slice through this mystery. <laughs> I'm so you can probably hear the controller vibrating. No, it's a really intense no vibration. No way I could have done it. No way. I wasn't conscious the whole time because I drank the drugged coffee in the dining car. Mm -hmm. It's no use. You sure about that? Your deduction is wrong. Shut up. I can prove it. Photography image. Time for the solution. Looks like there are more solution keys to choose from. 
Yeah, the keys will change. Use the correct key. You better not be skimming over this. It ain't much. Switch but keys. here's my contributions in the six hearts. I want this one. No, I really appreciate it. Everything else. Ridiculous! You're the culprit! You are stupid! You knew it was drugged! I did not know it was drugged. That's how you avoided being knocked out! No, oh, I was still knocked out. The other detectives were drugged! And so was I! You went around killing them all! I did no such thing! You're busted! No! You took the laced copy? I did? And only pretended to drink it! There's proof! This is the truth! <laughs> Cindergami go Cinder Six Pirates. Cindergami! <laughs> Thank you! Zongi's photography footage showed me drinking the coffee. That proves I wasn't faking anything. Mm hmm. Cool. He exploded. That was it? <laughs> Did I... defeat it? See? No matter how weak you are, things will turn out fine, as long as I'm here. <laughs> he tried to frame me as the culprit. That was the first one. Guess that's what Amaterasu Corp is doing. They want to set you up and call it a day. Hmm. That's why the peacekeepers barged in as soon as the train hit the station. They probably planned this. So they knew what was going to happen. Then the culprit works for Amaterasu? Or someone hired by them. Either way, the peacekeepers want to hide who did it. I wonder if there's gonna be Shinigami plushies, like of the little ghost form. Feed my plushie addiction. So the reason Control Headquarters didn't respond to the emergency calls was because of Amaterasu. Hmm. Probably. Now that we know what they're aiming for, we're one step closer to the truth. There's a figure of this form coming out? Yeah, uh, I, I was looking at it when it released. <laughs> Let's keep this up and unriddle this mystery labyrinth so we can get But I didn't want to make any impulse purchases until I played the game. And now I can say that it would have been totally fine if I did make the impulse purchase. <laughs> You're awfully casual about this. My life is at stake here. It's a really cute figure. I understand now that the mystery labyrinth is the case's mysteries given shape. What I can spare. That's okay. Also gonna hop out. From what I've seen here, I definitely want to play the game, so I don't want to spoil the whole thing for myself. Yeah, no problem. But what do you do here, Shinigami? Simply put, I'm the one and only cutie that can directly interact with the mystery labyrinth. Hmm. The progress you've made in the mystery labyrinth and solving those mysteries here... All thanks to me. <laughs> How are you able to do this? I don't know what to tell you. I've always been able to do this, so I forgot how. More importantly, you got drugged and knocked out. You are so pitiful, Master. But it's not my fault. No wonder you're waddling around like a toddler. Well, I thought I was dizzy because I've got this weird ghost thing haunting me. <laughs> right? <laughs> huh? Making a pact with me won't make you dizzy. That just reduces your lifespan by a lot. Oh. You're kidding, right? <laughs> She's so smug. Right? Anyway, who do you think is the culprit, Master? Do you have any guesses? Uh, if the drinks were drugs in the dining car, the culprit must have been on the train before anyone else. Hmm. Oh, so then all you have to do is ask around and figure out what order everyone got on board. How would we know that? The, the train staff? The train station people? Oh, wait a minute. Witnesses? You can't, because they're all dead! Okay, well... <laughs> you aren't taking this very seriously, are you? Let's keep moving. Are we gonna fight another boss? Because we argued the obvious. Hmm. Hmm. This place. Whoa. The 
path That's is cute. Too, too. Huh. Which way should I go? I'm allergic to hot babes. This fork in the path is also a materialized mystery, so you should know which way to go if you solve it. Huh. First, let's clarify what mystery this I'm is really exactly. I'm really digging you, Muskay. Hell yeah. Uh huh? Uh, how do you do that? Like this. I found the prop I want. I found the prop I want. I found it. Oh my god. Shouldn't he got me with a fucking scythe? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Blood! Blood! Huh? Quit overreacting, Master. This is a mystery labyrinth. It's fine. <laughs> she just trying to kill me? Anyway, take a look. Oh, I love her. I use the blood of the truth seeker as a conduit to expose the mystery blocking the path. Is that a question? That's the mystery standing in your way. You just need to pick the right path and head on through. Hmm. Six on the train. It must mean the six master detectives, including me, right? Yeah, unfortunately the blood's red. If I don't think the culprit is among the six on the train, then I should take the right path, which says no. But if I think the culprit is one of the six on board, I need to take the left path that says yes. Hmm. Which Please behead it? me, Cindergami. <laughs> Thank you for the thousand bits, Twin Flame Wolf. Thank you. There's only one truth. Questions relating to the case are asked in different forms inside the mystery labyrinth. Here. A scythe slinger, hell yeah. Choose correct answers and take me to the truth. Is the culprit one of the six on the train? Yes. Yes. So you think the culprit is one of the six on the train, right? I think so. Yeah. Right here. Okay, let's go. Can I go through now? Oh, you got it right? Not bad at all, master. I got it right! <laughs> obvious, kind of. <laughs> oh, he's back! We gotta fight him again. Ah, something happened! Why? Did I make the wrong choice? It's trying to bury the truth again! Go get him, master! Yeah. Yeah, Swank's back. Missed the money. Red, any chance you want to cosplay Swank? <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> Customize the two detectives in the map. Other than the six on the train. You must have had an accomplice. An accomplice. You two committed the crime. Okay, that makes sense. In that case, it all fits. Hold on. Yeah, that's the one we want. Even if you couldn't do it alone, it was possible with an accomplice. But there wasn't anybody else on the train. I'm drinking the coffee and knocking yourself out. Oh, there's two? No, that's not it. Right. Uh. Your deduction is wrong. You're wrong. Other than the six on the train, you must have had an accomplice. No. This is the truth. Oh. 
Sometimes you have to pick the right Two statement to, use their abilities to, prove to argue that again. Only six people were on the train. If it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. But two of them means there can be no mistake. Yep, yep. Wrong! Your reasoning is completely off! <laughs> what? You weren't there, bro! Peacekeeper death report operation. What good does that testimony Hold on. The victims all burned to death. The train didn't stop once. Very unlikely someone boarded the train. I think we're gonna want this one. Do. Your accomplice just wasn't there when those two checked. But came aboard after that. So what if the windows don't open? While everyone was left out. You secretly stopped the train and let your part. Actually! Flash through this mystery! You're wrong! <laughs> The back of the operation log showed that the train never stopped. And the doors won't open unless the train stops. Mm -hmm. So it's impossible for someone to have Swing gotten on during the trip. When he told. <laughs> At least this version of Swing. Nice, we got him again. Them What's jiggle physics? The this, master. Yeah, you like swanks you jiggle physics. <laughs> your way. You make it sound like I'm the bad guy here. No. Hey, I was wondering if the mystery labyrinth is trying to block people from seeking the truth. You know what I just realized? I'm gonna have to paint the soles of my shoes again. <laughs> It's gonna be a little slippery. <laughs> That's gonna be the the third one, the third cosplay where the bottoms of my feet are gonna be slippery. <laughs> yeah, his ahoga is a question mark. Oh, what were you saying? Wouldn't it reject my answers even if they're right? Or maybe the questions themselves could be lies. No chance. A mystery labyrinth has no self-will. It can't lie or create things not based on the real-world mystery. Hmm. This place is a direct manifestation of a mystery. You can always progress as long as you keep solving it. Interesting. In that sense, the labyrinth is fair. It won't cheat you. I see. That's a relief. Are his pupils magnifying glasses? You see that? That's so freaking cute. By the way, without the culprit being one of the six of you, how could the culprit commit the crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead? They weren't. We already know who it is. At least we have a pretty good guess. I didn't want it to be that obvious, but... You know. in the road. Hmm. Is that one shaped like ice cream? Let's go that door! This is how we reach the truth. It reflects how problems are really solved. Doesn't it? Well, I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. I don't remember <laughs> That's right. We have amnesia. It doesn't matter. You just need to solve the mystery in front of us. <laughs> Again? <laughs> oh, that's the perfect prop to have with her. Oh my god. <laughs> or maybe rainbow vomit. 
You just leave all the heavy lifting to your lovely mystery labyrinth guide. Yeah. Really? That'd be a big help. Everyone was dead, so how did the culprit pull it off? Commit suicide after the crime, or play dead? Okay, this is interesting. Because as soon as I saw the first body, that's that was my assumption. Kind of like a I keep I keep making connections to Dongarapa. Kind of like kind of like a Nagito situation. Um but I think I think they played dead. Or we never we never saw the body. Technically we never saw the body. Um So I I guess I guess planting planting your accessories on another body is is considered playing dead. Oh, are you leading me to the right choice? Oh. Huh? Uh. Guess I'll think about the opposite door. Think about it. What do you mean think about it? Oh, I got it. Master, leave this to me. This has to be the right answer. Follow me. Yeah, <laughs> wait. So many ideas with the cosplay. <laughs> the culprit just played dead. Uh huh. Because if they did commit suicide after the crime, they'd be dead right now. Uh huh. And that's no fun at all. Well, I mean, that's not a very good argument. That's your reasoning. <laughs> Wait. What's this chain? I told you we share mind and body. The chain is proof of that. Our relationship can never be broken apart. Aww. Th that's terrible. Please, you should consider yourself lucky. You're being haunted by a cutie like me. I mean, the chain is a prop option since it's so allowed. I'm so tired. I pulled you up here, so you can walk the rest of the way yourself. I didn't ask you to do that. I mean, <laughs> I wasn't complaining. So you think this path will lead toward the truth, right? No idea. This is a labyrinth. It's pretty common to encounter dead ends. So much of a labyrinth is pretty much straightforward. IT should have been me, not him. <laughs> it's not fair. Whoa, watch Cinder out! Six. Oh! Uh, not just a straight path anymore, actually. You see? What did I tell you? Dead end. Don't sound so proud of yourself. You chose this path, Shinigami. Hmm. If it's a dead end, maybe the culprit wasn't just playing dead. That's what I said. Both options weren't exactly 100% correct. I searched all five bodies, and they were, without a doubt, dead. There were not five bodies. Oh, so the answer isn't play dead. Let's turn back. You changed your mind already? Exploring all yeah, that's Shinigami. Is an important so the the little bit labyrinth. goal, the bottom corner of the screen, is is a goal for me to uh, cosplay her. <laughs> I'm so awesome. <sighs> By the way, I did say I can guide you through the mystery labyrinth. I'm not that good at solving mysteries. Huh? You could have said that a little earlier. <laughs> Great. I just want to help. I like when you rely on me, Master. Anyway, what's going on in the real world while we're in the mystery labyrinth? Time has stopped on the other side. We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. In other words, you're still surrounded by peacekeepers. So if we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. I mean... 
Jailed? That's... Yeah, captured. <laughs> as a result, this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious crime. And you're gonna be blamed for it. Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive. And that creates an even bigger problem. Which is? Leaving a case unsolved means that it will go down in history that way. The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest. Mm -hmm. And the more people rack their brains about that mystery, the bigger the mystery labyrinth gets. Eventually, the mystery labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. It would implant insidious ideas into people's minds, creating more murderers and, in turn, new mystery labyrinths. Labyrinths can create endless cycles, that's why it's best to cut it off as soon as possible. It sounds way more daunting than I thought. Hmm. Is there a third door? We will support oh, your passions I, I no matter that. what. Also, <laughs> you, we are Gilgamesh. already over 20% done. Yeah, you guys are crazy. This isn't a today goal. This is like... How long is this game? This game is really, really long. <laughs> From the same people that made Danganronpa? They they have the same... There's, there's the same people who worked on both games. Not necessarily like same developer. But people... There are there are people who worked on both games. Yeah, same artist. Music. The other route is commit suicide after the crime. There's no other option. So it has to be the right answer. But it's not. Hmm. It is the same company. The devs. Let's solve this thing. But that's. But but that's not it. Let's solve this thing. I do know the answer, but that's not the answer. Agent, thank you. Thank you for 4,000 biddies! Thank you! Flywing! Been saving these bits for your next goal. Let's Let smash this one. After Thank the crime you so me. much! Thank you for the biddies! The four. The thank you, thank himself, you! Right? Is that really the right answer? The mystery labyrinth's roots represent logical deduction. But there's only one route, and it's the only Rest possibility. Rest with a spoon, thank you for the thousand biddies. I think the only option left is the Wolf Hunter, so thank you for the thousand biddies, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. These rooms are so pretty. And... There we go. Oh, oh we actually fell through that time. Rio Red, thank you for the thousand bits! And you guys started a hype train! Thank you! Materializing. You just need to solve it! Oh shit. <laughs> she got them one kicking legs. Who was the last person to die during this incident? Huh? This way. If the culprit committed suicide after the crime, then the last person that died should be the culprit. Hmm. Right. Because they wouldn't be able to kill someone else if they off themselves already. Right. Nice work. Kind of right. Send the six fire pops in the tax. Send the six fire pops in the Who said fire to the dead culprit? Fire pops in the tax. The culprit. Of course, the person who started the fires must be the culprit. All five burned to death, so the culprit who died last totally burned himself. Come on, let's try again. Who was the last person to be burned to death? Crash! Come on, let's try again. 
Wait. on fire is zilch i see there's a goal so it was to crawl out from the lurk cave to help out for the boys i knew he was the most sus but then the way that the bodies were switched That still doesn't add up. The, the, the necklace, the necklace, it still doesn't... And then the stab, the stab wound. It still doesn't add up. The Sari Lux, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you. Aquilus Prime, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, thank you so much. Holy shit, you guys. Kotetsu, thank you for the thousand biddies! And Yasuni, thank you for the 900 biddies! Thank you, thank you! Kachela, thank you for the bids! Thank you, guys! Okay. <laughs> but you know, setting aside the idea that the culprit was the last to die, why would it be Detective Four Eyes? Didn't we discover his body first? Yes. Agent! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you for the bitties! Thank you! According to the Holy customs, shit! The victims all burned to death, right? But when we first found Zilch in car one, he wasn't burnt yet. Right. He was stabbed. If that's the case, that means he must have burned to death oh. after that. He killed everybody and then... That's what you saw. Although, everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, notice how it's just their bodies? The rooms weren't affected. Alright. So if they all burn to death, then the last one who died could be Detective Four Eyes. I think the culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of how we found their corpses. Hmm. Starting from car five, he killed them in order one by one, then set himself on fire in car one. That might be too easy though. So, Detective Four Eyes is without a doubt the culprit, but he committed suicide, huh? I don't think so! I don't think so! That would be too easy! The door! If I've learned anything from Danganronpa games, it's that the first solution you come to is never the correct one. Solid Snake, Whoa. thank you for the thousand bits! It worked? See... The whole convoluted, you actually replaced the burnt body and, and planted the necklace on the corpse... Th th that, that sounds more like <laughs> what, what they would do. <laughs> See, I told you it would be fine. I'm such a terrific guide. Yeah. Shout out to Case 5 and Dongarampa 3. Case 5. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Is that the end of it? I guess that's everything. Seems easier than I thought. The big case. Uh huh. Mm, what's wrong, Master? I'm wondering if that's really all that happened. No! Something about this seems off. Yes. It does? You think so? Rocky, thank you for the five gift subs! Ah! What's going on? The conclusion? Is this the truth behind the case? No. There's only one door. No other options. Maybe this really is the end. Kind of a simple conclusion despite five people dying. Well, I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you, Master. Wait. 
Mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real world case, including things like misdirection, right? What was chapter five? Um, hydraulic press. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Which means this could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead us. So, you don't think this is the truth? What makes you say that? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. It's not! If so, then this door could be a fake. How can we tell? If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? Hmm. It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. And I won't tell you exactly what will happen. I don't want to affect your judgment. You've already affected I my judgment. I have a feeling the door will break. I guess the only way to find out is to destroy it. How do I do that? With your sword! Oh my god. <laughs> you have a fucking sword! <laughs> Just cut it open! Hi, Joel! Demolish. So it was fake! It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail! You didn't break it yet! Don't get ahead of yourself! There he is again. <laughs> you said it just quit while you were ahead. No. It's rare for a fake exit to appear. This mystery labyrinth is way tougher than I thought. And it's only chapter one. Master, don't let your guard down. Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead. Oh my god. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for this. Final fight. I wonder if Master can even make snap judgments. Oh, the noise. Okay, sweet. So we can cut the noise. Are you gonna remember all of this? Sure, hope you got all that down. The cap. Okay. Knife and corpse and Melanie's corpse. The must be. Hold on, Melanie. I think we're gonna want the knife. Zilch. Reason is obvious. Zilch is the only one who could have done the crime. He burned the four passed out victims. Then set himself on fire and died from immolation. Not exactly. If you think about it, it's an easy case to solve. Four murders, one suicide. That's the truth behind the case. No. Hmm? Something about this whole thing is bugging me. Yeah. Yeah, something was off when we found Zilch's body. The culprit must be Zilch! No! Reason is obvious. In my brain moving. Zilch is the only one who could have done the crime! I think that's the one. The four passed out victims. That's the one. Then oh shit. Set himself on fire. I jumped too soon. And died from immolation! If you think about it, it's an easy case to solve. You shut up. Four murders, one suicide. Oh, I That's forward. the truth behind the case. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The culprit must be Zilch. No. Reason is obvious. Zilch is the only one who could have done the crime. Where are you going? Yeah, that's the right one. <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> oh? Hmm? What's with that knife? Does it somehow disprove Zilch's involvement? After killing everybody, he stabbed himself with a knife and set himself on fire? Really? That's right! Yeah, that can't be right, which means this solution key should go with that statement. The culprit must be Zilch! Mm -hmm. 
Now. Reason is obvious. Now. Zilch oh. is the only one who could have done the crime. Now. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> Okay, be careful. I gotta be careful speeding this shit up. No! The stab wound! No. Now that I think about it, Zilch's suicide by fire doesn't make sense. Because when I saw Zilch through the window, there was a knife in his chest. If he burned himself, then why would there be a knife stuck there? You little You could have said that about Nagito, but they already knew he was fucking crazy. <laughs> The blood stain. I was the knife. We want blood stain. Stuck in the body. Of course, I know why. Mm, shut up. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. Huh? He stabbed himself so he would pass out easy. <laughs> what? He set himself on fire. Dying by fire is a painful way to go. Uh huh. He wanted to make it less painful. I don't know about that. The culprit has to be Zilch! No. He committed suicide by self-immolation! No! Hmm? So he stabbed himself with a knife because there was no other way to knock himself out? That's true. No, he wouldn't have had to go through all that just to pass out. I was the knife stuck in the body? Of course I know why. It, yeah, it was to knock himself out. Oh, shit. The noise was in the way. I was the knife stuck in the body. Of course I know why. It, yeah, it was to knock himself out. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Coffee. Coffee. We want the coffee. He would pass out easy. Then set himself on fire. Dying by fire is a painful way to go. He wanted to make it less painful. The culprit has to be Zilch. He committed suicide by self-immolation. That's true. I was the knife stuck in the body? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I know why. Later. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. Okay, we cut through the white noise. Okay. <laughs> um, actually, actually, did you forget about the drugged coffee? He would have used the drugged coffee in the dining car. That's a much easier way to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Swank's not a big thinker. I see. So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. Right. The peacekeeper said all the detectives burned to death. But Zulch's corpse in the first car is different. To me, it looked more like he was stabbed to death. So the peacekeeper's report was a lie? But they have no reason to do that. If they wanted to set you up as the culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. They all must have died by fire, after all. How many bodies? How many bodies? And for some reason, only Zilch appeared to have been stabbed to death. Get it. So that's what was bothering me. But no 
matter how hard I think about it, I can't seem to figure out what happened next. Huh? Why's that? I don't have enough clues about Zilch in the first car. I should have investigated it more after discovering the body, but I was too preoccupied with calling for help. So mm -hmm. we're stuck right here. I don't see any other routes to break through this mystery. I don't even know what mystery we gotta solve right now. But I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. You wish you had investigated more, right? So you think you'd have That's the answer if you'd done what I told you to do! Huh? Yeah, maybe. Oh, fine. My secret weapon is so draining, I try to avoid using it as much as possible. Well, we can revisit the crime scene. But I just love it when you rely on me, Master. <laughs> feeling about this <laughs> not like he's the ultimate do? detective true this is all for you master ready master oh. <laughs> wait <laughs> holy shit <laughs> What does she call that? She had a name for that. I don't remember. What's going on? She'll probably say it again. I'm extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery labyrinth. This is my super cute special weapon. <laughs> the punch. Don't hit See, me like that, you mommy. <laughs> you might make some new discoveries. Oh. The shock from all this is making my head spin. You don't have any time to waste, Master. This was pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around for long. You have until the pain in your head clears up. Now oh. hurry and investigate. Got it. Go, go, go! Crime scene recreation. Burn blanket. This blanket is mostly burned, but some parts near the knife are unscathed. It doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. But how could that be? A burnt blanket that was placed over the corpse. There's no blood on it. Oh, so I can get solution keys here too. You may have seen it, but forgotten. That just means you didn't think anything of it at the time. Hmm. But it is in your memory, so you can use it as a clue. You can do that? You're incredible, Shinigami. Aww. <laughs> Go on, keep complimenting me. <laughs> cushion. Huh? This cushion? Was it always there? Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was made by something sharp. What did this? Hmm. <laughs> I think it belongs in the room with the magazines and tissues. <laughs> Cushion found next to a bed. It has a hole in it, as if it was punctured by something sharp. Oh, it's fading. I guess the pain is starting to go away too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find anything? Well, wasn't much time. Yeah, I think I see the contradiction here. Although I'm not completely sold on it. Come on, this is where you're supposed to declare I've solved the mystery. Hmm. Well, if you think you're on the right track, then I guess we should do this next. Do what? Uh-oh. It's for when you're stuck in your deductions. Remember what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. So even when you're stuck, Oops, there's always a way Seem to have dropped these. Out. Sure would be a shame if someone used these for a cosplay. <laughs> so you know, thank you for the thousand biddies! Thank you! 
David! Thank you for 26 months! Thank you! Hello, hello! And we're gonna find it by working together. Working together? Lay it all out, Master! I love her. Oh? Beach episode! Please have a bikini. <gasps> oh, <yeah. laughs> We're gonna expose the truth together! <laughs> Why does it look like she's in that giant tub of lube? <laughs> you know the one! <laughs> that woman sitting in the big, the big, like, barrel of lube. <laughs> You want barrel cosplay? <laughs> barrel cosplay! Oh my god. <sighs> the Shinigami puzzle is one of my secret techniques to uncover the hidden truth. What? The truth is hiding somewhere in the letters on the side of the barrel containing yours truly. Ready? Read the question and knock out the letters. We are going to Jabberwock, Tyler. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Make a mistake and the time limit will be reduced. If you can knock the letters out in the right order, I'll be imbued with the power of truth and unleash a special move that'll open up a path. Master, it's time for the solution key. If you feed me the solution keys floating around the barrel, I'll give you whatever hint comes to mind. Grab the key and bring it to my mouth. Don't you forget. But there are some solution keys you can't get hints from. If I eat one of those, the time limit will be reduced. Okay, move, grab, throw. And I can zoom. Try to solve it, lickety split. Oh, Detective Zilch's death was actually a. Uh, oh my god. Twirling, twirling, Are you kidding twirling. me? Hold on. Oh, it's X. Oh, I like this game! <laughs> God damn! Go, go, go! <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> She's taking her clothes off! No! No way! I didn't press any buttons! Stay like that! <laughs> That's right. No! I saw Zilch through the window. Why did you to put your clothes back on? His chest. I didn't touch anything. It was all the cutscene. But in actuality, he stabbed the blanket wrapped cushion to make it Second look like he had been stabbed. When? For the barrel, of course. <laughs> barrel! Only the barrel! That's why the Cosplay blanket didn't gold have blood on it. <laughs> even though the cushion was stabbed through. Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. Mm-hmm. Now you have to cosplay that swimsuit. <laughs> I don't know about that. Zilch's death was just a red herring to hide the truth. It's a new solution key. If it was a red herring, that means he wasn't really dead. Yeah, Zilch was faking his death to fool us. That knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when I looked through the window. Hold on. Did you look through the window and then look away? I'm trying to... 
But the Peacekeeper's report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction. Yeah. So the culprit was just plain dead. It's exactly what I said. In a roundabout way, yes. Which means that Dead End in the Abyss could have a new path now. Let's hurry back! Ooh! We gonna go on another ride? Another ride! Minecart ride! What's wrong? It's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. I don't want to walk anymore. <laughs> okay. Some guy you are. Besides, you're not even walking. I despise effort and hard work. I want to head back the easy way. Oh, I know. I have a convenient transportation <laughs> method thanks to my awesomeness. Minecart. It lets us go anywhere you've been before. Huh? Now is the perfect time to use it. What? <laughs> yeah, zoom? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Zoom. Zoom is convenient. Huh? See? Super easy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't think that mattered. But unfortunately, using it does drain a little bit. Drain a little bit of... What? Do you have MP or something? Your lifespan. My lifespan? Again? Oh. So we passed through how did the culprit pull it off junction and have taken the play dead turn again. Hmm. Now that we have a new solution key, I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. Let's give it a try. Oh. Put the key in. Solution keys are oh. important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important too. Solution keys can be used to break through mysteries We're in the way. The Select the solution key together. that answers the question in front of you. Okay. What proves the culprit played dead? Do I have keys to pick from? Those aren't keys. Where are my keys? Find the key for... Oh, use. There we go. Zilch's corpse discovered in car one. The entire body is burnt and still giving off a charred smell. The victims all burned to death. The knockout drug. Red herring. That's the new one we got. When Yuma saw Zilch through the window, it looked like Zilch had a knife in his chest. However, that was just a red herring. The knife was actually stabbed into the cushion, hidden under the blanket. Yoink! Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. A new path. A bridge. See, didn't I say the path would appear? It's all because we found the right deductive clue to break through. I'm so amazing. You can pat me on the head if you want, Master. She's just like me. Well, maybe later. <laughs> We opened the play dead root thanks to the corpse red herring solution key. Uh huh. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. Hmm. If so, he is absolutely the culprit. House? Now, we just need to prove it. Huh? Sorry, I'm distracted. But even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes Butterfly. to solving mysteries, <laughs> the real world will be different, right? 
What if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit? Hmm. Even if we prove who really did it. That's why we have evidence. Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Huh? Why is that? Let's save the fun for later. <laughs> oh. oh, the ground! It's falling apart! You better run, Master! Run! Why? <laughs> Wasn't this the right route? Maybe the logic still has some holes in it. Uh-huh. Oh shit. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> Are you what? You just snap our neck? <laughs> oh, what, what was what what was what you hold on. Was it actually Zilch? No. No, he wasn't dead! Oh, we did see him. We we saw his hair. That's right. His hair wasn't burned yet. His hair wasn't burned yet. I keep forgetting that fact. Okay, his hair wasn't burned yet. Hold on. It also took me a while to read it. Um, yeah. When I saw Zilch through the window, he was faking his death with the knife through the cushion. Wait, we saw his face and his hair. I remember seeing his hair. That was definitely the real Zilch. Was the burnt corpse in part one actually zilch? No! The corpse I investigated was real, it just wasn't zilch's corpse. In other words, zilch swapped himself out for a real corpse. Zilch swapped places with the corpse in the infirmary before he entered. Corpse was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so I couldn't make anything out through the window. Silch used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. That's it. I get it. The fire wasn't only there to show he died from burning. It was also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse. But he would have been stuck in there. Right. In the smoke, he switched places with a corpse he had hit. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's... It's not Zilch. It's not Zilch. I didn't think it was Zilch! Apex! Right? Next up, you need to deduce where the corpse was hidden. Because the room was filled with smoke, he needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. How would... Where are you thinking? If he needed to get to the body as quickly as possible, only one place... I mean, place under the sense. bed? Although, the, the other bed was tipped over. Spot oh, selection. Take the spots. Doesn't make mistakes. Right? 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 right here. Right here, under the bed. Under the bed. Corpse was hidden right there. Right there. Uh, hey, you you good? <laughs> Hold on, wait. <laughs> Where are we going? Jeez, one after another. 
This is really bad for my heart. We're not done yet. Hurry, let's speed it up! Shinigami, you might be fine because you're floating around, but this is really tough for me. <laughs> I can't believe it! We had the corpse hidden under the blanket? I don't know. So oh, they're still talking. I I'm like, I'm like thinking. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Zilch was lying in bed with the corpse. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. He took the corpse out from under the blanket, pulled the knife out of the cushion, and stabbed it. That way, even after he switched with the corpse, that would make sense because there's no blood on the knife. But where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? They didn't mention that easy access. Apex was also stabbed. He also had a stab bed, wound. He could have quickly hid there. They can't just not address that. And the fact that his gold chain was pristine. No way. Wait. No, that would make sense. Yeah, if the corpse is his body. And then he moved the corpse. It would make sense if he... No, because how did he... Which means if you checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught that four-eyed idiot. Yeah, uh, yeah, he would have passed by. But... We found what what we assumed was Aphex's dead body that also had a stab wound, but no knife. So either way, bodies had to have been moved. Unless it was just some other random corpse? Because there were no signs of other life, so there has to be... Can we, can we verify if the stab wounds are the same? <laughs> That's like a huge piece of evidence that we didn't... But back then... I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. I'm sure he calculated all that too. He knew I'd panic. Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning. And that's why he let you in. Yeah, so I think it's either Zilch killed Aphex and then used his body twice. Or Apex killed Zilch in that room, took that corpse, and then planted it in the last cart. But that also, how would he do that? Because we didn't even... His forte? Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think Zolch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary, so he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. 
but passed out in the restroom, Why? but that didn't hinder his plans, so he went with it. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Yeah. Yeah. He must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. Aha! I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Not bad, Master. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memories. <laughs> no. If I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. I guess so. <laughs> By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? That corpse? Well, um... That's the question. Ah, again! There's either an extra body, an extra dead body, or... They move the corpses. I won't let you go any further! Hm, getting in our way again, huh? If you stand against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner. <laughs> I will not! This is the last fight? Can't be. There's still more questions. Reasoning death match. <laughs> Master, I'm lending you a hand from here on out. I'll assist you when you're in a pinch. Oh, thank you. Huh? Assist? It's the rule of the mystery labyrinth to assist whoever you're accompanying. Now let's go, Master. Well, looks like you might not need assist after all, Master. Usable in the recovery gauge is at max. But using assist, your partner inside the mystery labyrinth will help this you out. Could be the clincher. When a partner's assist is activated, a mystery phantom statement won't afflict any damage, so use it to take a closer look at what they're saying. Okay. Gotcha. Let me take a closer look. Okay, Fuchi's corpse. Okay, and car three. Burnt to a crisp, but the face is just barely recognizable, so we can tell it's her. The burnt corpse thought to be Aphex, thought to be, had what appeared to be stab wounds in the chest similar to Zilch's body. Hmm, the face was burned beyond recognition. That's the red flag. Zange's corpse discovered in car four. The entire body has been burnt to a crisp. I think we want this one. I won't let you pass! Nonsense. Give me an argument! <laughs> you think he swapped with a corpse? It'd be impossible to switch like that. Someone who can replace Silt would need to be the same size as him. Yeah? He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. It would have been down at the station. Well, true. It would be impossible to get it on board. So he would have had to. There was no corpse to replace anyway. Uh uh. This is the truth. There was actually. There's no need to bring an extra corpse for the swap. He just needed to reuse a. That's dead what body I was train. saying. <laughs> it's just like, um, chapter uh, five? Chapter five of Trigger Happy Havoc? It's Apex's body from the fifth car. He and Zilch are nearly the same height, and both have stab wounds in their chests. So the corpse that was switched was Apex's. Ah, damn it! How could someone like you? the truth. How'd you know that's the truth? <laughs> Goodbye, Swank. <laughs> I hope so. Now we don't have to fight.
fight anymore. <laughs> uh, buddy, <laughs> this is just chapter one. <laughs> Even if that's true, don't let your guard down. The mystery lab isn't over yet. Stay alert until the very end. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Hello? Wow. Who would have thought that short-tempered idiot would be used for a body swap? Thinking back, the reason the corpses in the first and fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. Mm-hmm. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Aphex. Exactly. That must be what the necklace was for, so I could identify him. Well, hmm. reusing a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, <laughs> don't you think? He totally went green. I mean, we gotta recycle everything in our day and age, so you gotta get the most value out of corpses too, you know? Mm. I did think Zilch was the most suspicious from the start. I was hoping it wasn't that obvious. I am sold I'm playing all Danger Ropper games and Ruin Code. <laughs> Thanks for play G this game, Cinder. Sulch? Probably wouldn't have given this game a chance if I didn't catch your stream. I love games like the He's right there! He's right there! Wait, I am not the culprit. Huh? I am a victim. Who was already killed? You're standing right in front of me. <laughs> so, leave me alone. Hey, he ran away. Huh? After him, master. Hello. It, yeah. Just a little cat play, and I'm the wolf. Ah woo. <laughs> what did I fucking say? You said the body in the first car's infirmary wasn't me, but Apex. But you went to car five don't? after car one and discovered his corpse Oh, there. the fucking quick time events. How was the corpse transported from car one to car five? Did it require a moving past you? Oh, maybe not. That's right, if he slipped past us, when did that happen? The, the peeking through the door. And here comes the wolf chasing the little kitty. <laughs> oh, <no>. Wait! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the prophecy? <laughs> oh. He's actually a fox though, right? I don't know. The cat and the mouse thing would make more sense. Because he uses mice? Or that's what you said. That's what you claimed, huh? Huh, Zilch? Uh, where'd he go? <laughs> Wait a minute. Which way? Where'd he go? Which way did you see him run? Where did he run off to? Another mystery that needs to be solved. When moving the body from car one to car five, the culprit. What? Through the trap. No. So, I mean, we were like inside other rooms investigating, but then he was just running on top of the train just now. Am I overthinking this? He would have had to move through the fucking train. We have to assume that they carried the corpse through the train. Right, but... No. How? That's impossible. Oh, of course you're going to tell me no. Impossible. 
Impossible. Impossible. Impossible. Impossible. Impossible. Impossible. Impossible. Impossible. Impossible. Are you also going to a kiss concert? Zilch uh, turned into a mystery phantom. Get him, master. Boom kill him. So Boom hard. kill. <laughs> That's what it was! <laughs> Boom kill! There was no other way to, to move the bodies. Reasoning death match! A body can't get from car one. No. Blackout and shaking. Blackout. Cushion with hold. Hmm. To car five. Just think about it. I'm thinking. The train's halls are quite narrow. They are. The corpse is heavy enough as it is. Lugging a corpse through the hallway. You would certainly have noticed. Mm-hmm. That means your deduction is all wrong! Unless there was a so big loud possible. noise. Oh shit. You cannot transport the corpse from car one to car five. That's true. Plus, when we investigated the private rooms, we kept the doors open for security. If someone had passed through the hallway, oh, yeah, we did. I probably would have noticed. They would have had to sneak past me too. There's no way anybody got through that corridor. If we're certain nobody used that corridor, then the corpse must have been brought in from outside the train, not inside. If so, the culprit would need to be able to pass by us without being noticed. What are you mumbling about? Just admit that your deductions were utter nonsense. What are you mumbling about? Well? If they didn't pass through the train, did you think the corpse was brought in from outside? Impossible! The windows are all locked shut. Oh. <laughs> the door's locked when the train is moving. Yes. We okay. know the train never stopped once. Right. If the windows and doors are shut, uh -huh. there's no way to get out while the train is moving. No issues occur during the train's operation. That's wrong! This is the truth! No, there was something strange. Mm -hmm. The blackout and shaking that happened when I was in car two and car four. Hmm. Two and four, you say? Before and after. The locations of where, where we needed the where where the the, the thingies took place. Uh, oh no, they figured it out. <laughs> when the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. <laughs> <laughs> the mystery of the moving corpse. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? <laughs> Back Forget the shaking. Ding in the blackout. They were nothing but coincidences. Mm -hmm. The blackout was just a bad contact. The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's nothing odd about that. It's all just a coincidence. It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot. <laughs> Can such a carefully calculated crime really be all a coincidence? No. It's no coincidence. The culprit planned all of it. Forget the shaking and the blackout. No. They were nothing but coincidences. Mm -hmm. The blackout was just a bad contact. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> the shaking was the tunnel air pressure. No. Nothing about that. It's the backup control. It's all just a coincidence. No, you're wrong. It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot. Do it, master. Oh no, I wanted to fast forward. <laughs> I didn't need your help. I, I was trying to fast forward. Forget. They were nothing but coincidences. The blackout was just a bad contact. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Through this mystery. No, the blackout didn't occur because of a connection failure. Mm -hmm. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. Mm -hmm. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. How does it feel to be wrong? Did he get <laughs> Did he get run over by the train? You ran away! Oh. Clean Phantom is a bad phantom! Is there such a thing as a good phantom? <laughs> After him! You gotta keep solving the mystery and boom kill that mystery! Yeah, phantom. get boom killed! <laughs> the chain. <laughs> Master, you may know the cause of the blackout, but what does that have to do with how the corpse was moved? The failed main control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. With rats? <laughs> he must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm. It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how, huh? In that case, get back here! <laughs> oh shit! I knew it. A mystery is blocking you. Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let's solve it to keep on going. <laughs> I could have been smushed. <laughs> He's gonna have so much trauma. <laughs> the main control system was lost when car one so was. This is the question we're facing right now. The main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved, then how? Hmm. Master's expression is so serious. <laughs> he must be thinking hard. Well, as his mentor, I better think hard, too! <laughs> <laughs> the main control system failing, the blackout, the train shaking... Oh, yeah! Why did the train shake like that? Hmm. There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel that was caused by the main control system failing, but the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened because... Because, uh, uh? Oh, oh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout, too? After the whole train shook, <laughs> the blackout. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want the barrel mini game That's again? Right. The train shook right before the blackout. Yes. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... Ooh! Did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? Then it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! Let's go, Master! Lay it all out! 
Of course, the barrel's back. <laughs> Try to solve it, lickety split. And car one was. <sighs> yeah, I got it. I got it. I, I was looking at the letters to make sure. No, no, no. I thought that was. No, 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 no. Where'd it go? This one. Oh. Great. Same same answer different different ways to get you there. Can do it. Only 30 seconds left faster. That's right. I was going for derailed. Oh. Get used to this. <laughs> Could it be that the first car was separated from the train? Yep. Huh? Separated? What? Seriously? Yeah. The reason why the main control system failed was because the first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Mm hmm. Let's keep going for now. Also, why the uh, um, the numbers? Master, I don't really get it. Are messed up. What do you mean the first car was cut off? The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? That also explains the Did knocked over shake? bed. Because that was him moving the corpse. What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. At that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. Yeah, cut off from the back, attached to the front. The numbered plates were scratched off or burnt away. So that way you wouldn't be able to tell the numbers and then the the burnt infirmary room had all the same stuff in it but the bed was knocked over and the corpse was moved into the hallway as a result the main control system failed if we look at the the train map blackout, it switched to the backup <clears throat> it could have been operated separately why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Of course, to move the body in the train car. To do that. He didn't switch the the the, the train car the body was in. He just switched where the train car was positioned. Yes, I'm actually cooking. I fucking love games like these. <laughs> longer will this keep happening? I feel like I'm going to suffocate. Now is not the time to be suffocating. Again? <laughs> we need to resolve the mystery at hand. Given that the first car was cut off so that the body could be moved. Right. I think I see what happened. Mm-hmm. Seems like you got it. Let's do this. Did you get it, chat? Lay it all up, master. Should I explain? Try to solve it, lickety split. Nice. Can. I like 
the barrel. <laughs> I like the barrel mini game. <laughs> we got a new pose. We unlocked the new pose. Was that always like that? All three have been unique. I guess I was just <laughs> That's not paying right. much attention. He transported the corpse using the entire first car. That's why the first car was disconnected. Mm-hmm. Transported the corpse with the entire car? Nonsense. Shut up! You're looking a little different. Are you okay? The first You're looking kind of at the front of the guilty. Aphex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Even if you detach the front car, how do you move it all the way to the rear? Uh, um. <laughs> Master, don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. Yeah, it's the the second phase. Calm down. Stay calm. Think. How could you swap the position of the first and fifth cars? If I can answer that, I can solve this mystery once and for all. How did it happen? That reminds me. Master, earlier when you were talking about the shaking and mentioned the blackout? Blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel, and right after leaving it. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? When it was reattached. Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity. You're wrong. Master! and defeat him! Your deductions aren't worth a damn thing! Because they're all wrong from the very beginning! No, you're wrong! I'm ready! Fight me! Reasoning Deathmatch. So it should be. Okay. Route map. Yeah, see how there's a little... Oh, I'm blocking it. Hold on. <laughs> so. Do you see how there's like a little loop-de-loop? -loop? You see what I mean? So it, it disconnected before the tunnel and then reconnect it out of the tunnel so it goes like around it goes like whoop yeah you see <laughs> you wonder what the map was for <laughs> so we have this the train apparently split into two lines just before entering the tunnel but then we have the distorted plate the plate identifying car 5 is burned and distorted in an unusual manner and no longer resembles its original form so it's probably one of these two. Twice near the tunnel. What of it? What of it? You mean the train car was separated? Connected? Yeah. Why would that even matter? Because even if you managed to somebody. separate car one, how could it be moved to the rear? So what? The train was always running on the same tracks. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. This is the truth. Actually. No. At that time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. Mm -hmm. So by taking advantage of the double tracks, it's possible to switch out the train cars. <laughs> the 
first time the train shook was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separating. Mm -hmm. After that, the separated car one entered the other track, while the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. Mm -hmm. The two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. This is when the train shook for the second time. You're right! The first car moved all the way to the back! <laughs> so complex for level one? Did you play Dongan Rumble V3? <laughs> Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own. But the Amaterasu Express is special. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. If each train car can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that solve everything? No! That's crazy! <laughs> You're crazy! What? Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end. Mm -hmm. Which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. So... You're telling me you found Aphex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? Oh, you're right. Do you get it? You're the one who's wrong. Uh, we're Everything not wrong. you've deduced is wrong. Chat, you know why we're not wrong, right? No, I'm not wrong. The truth lies just ahead of us. I will prove Remember it to the you. door that didn't open? The broken door. Remember? Remember? That technically would technically would have been on the outside now. Are you ready to play the Shinigami puzzle? Five car. Oh, it was always six? Hold on. <laughs> no. Four? Four. Twirling, twirling, yeah, because then... Twirling. Yeah. Nice. Right, because... Then it would make sense because the sign was all scratched off. Amaterasu Little Express man. doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. Yes. <coughs> <laughs> that's why they're exactly the same. Huh? So there weren't five cars the whole time, but instead four? Yes. That's why Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. Mm-hmm. But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. So, it wasn't broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the gecko? Mm-hmm. I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. So the train took off with only four cars. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. And when I was questioned by the peacekeepers, the car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot. <sighs> the real car one was waiting at the station's platform, then all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it. So they were all in on it. 
Or you can assume that the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car walk. That's why they were like, yep, all the bodies, all the bodies were burnt. <laughs> if there was another car one, then there would be something that sets it apart from the original car one. For example, the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary would be different from how I broke it. Yep. You mean when you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window? So they knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? I think I was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot in the hallway. They wanted me to use it to break the window. Oh, I mean, it's the only thing you could have used. <laughs> and that's how they pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. Isn't that right, Zilch? Yeah, Zilch. <laughs> Also why, when he got off the train at the station, nobody went after him. That was a pretty solid deduction. <laughs> Very I even impressive. said that at the beginning. Is anybody else at the other exits? <laughs> it's so strange. It doesn't feel like I'm learning this stuff. More like I'm remembering it. What? Maybe I was even a high-ranking detective in a WDO. Remembering it? Did you already live through this? Right. Ooh, staircase. Like floating staircase. That's so pretty. Remembering his detective skills different here. This is just the calm before the storm. Be careful. You don't know what's gonna happen next. Are we gonna kiss? I mean, I, w I wanna know. <laughs> you never know. I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. Mm -hmm. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Even the trick with the swapping train car? Oh, I can still move. Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. Yep, that's pretty that's sus. What I'm worried about. Even if I obtain the truth here, won't they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Mm. And here comes the wolf chasing Why the little so kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> I hate, I hate how that has come full circle. I fucking hate that so much. <laughs> There's a little kitty cat as a bird now. What is this? So are your powers real? <laughs> Looks like a fort to me. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. You just have to destroy it. Hmm. So the truth is here. You can't have the truth. Please? Please give me the truth. It's impossible to destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave. I don't think so. Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. Is it gonna be like a rhythm game again? Master, I hope so. Time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. We gotta do this. <laughs> it's boom kill time! Boom kill! Wait for me! Thank you. Down all the walls. <laughs> mm 
Vor? I'm <laughs> sorry. Gigantism? God Shinigami? Oh, she's a big girl. <laughs> Shinigami's tutorial on corner. To overcome the last stand of a phantom, tear through all obstacles with the mega sized god, great onset destroyer, me! <laughs> Holy shit! Where is fucking going? Wait, hold on. Kick. Blast away the gigantic iron balls released from a phantom fortress with the corresponding kick. When an obstacle closes in and the screen slows down, press the button to attack. What? Missing the input timing means failure and taking damage, so be careful. I won't let you have the truth. Kick! I kicked! Oh, I can jump. Destroy huge walls when they suddenly appear. With a tackle. When the screen slows down. Missing means failure. Okay, I get it. Go away. Keep up and there we go. I see. Jump to avoid a thorn. Easy, easy. Watch out. Got it. Your deduction is wrong. Go away. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, I got the hang of it. Don't come any closer. Stop it. Switching the first and fifth cards is just your imagination. It's a completely baseless lie. There's no evidence they ever swapped. Yo, check, check. There are obstacles that even God me can't destroy without a solution key. Come on, hurry up. Open up the solution key window, pick a key that contradicts the statement, and boom, slash it. Use the solution key to smash through the wall, master. Distorted plate. You're wrong. No, there are traces of a swap. The warped plate from card five. Mm -hmm. The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it said car one. Left as it was, it would have messed up your plot to make car one look like car five. That's why you made extra sure it was burned <laughs> She's booking it. <laughs> She's got great running physics. Here she comes. Calling ass. I burned the plate to disguise it. No, I didn't do that. Stop. Stop. Go away. Get away from me. Wait. Get away. It just happened to be easily burned. But we can easily burn. burn. No way of knowing what number car it was. <laughs> Go get him! <laughs> so <there's laughs> Rapidly no approaching your location! <laughs> you have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car! Actually... Looks like we need another solution key to boom kill him! Good luck, Master! The blood stains. There is proof! The blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car 5! The culprit probably didn't notice it. But I remember. It's my blood! Oh. <laughs> what? When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car 1, I cut my finger on the glass. When I reached through to unlock the latch, I must have gotten blood on it. Mm-hmm. But that blood stain would have been hidden while the interlock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. <laughs> My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. This is the truth of the case. Get him! Yeah, girl! <laughs> the 
controller vibration is so fucking loud. <laughs> Did we do it? 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 You're still around. I'm not done yet. I think you're done. You're done. <laughs> what? We still going? Let us boom kill you already. Just die already. <laughs> if car one became car five. Then where did the culprit supposedly hiding in the infirmary go? Oh, uh, under the fucking bed? You had to have checked the fifth car, but the culprit wasn't there. You would know, because you're the culprit. So why don't you tell us? Hm? The culprit must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car. Probably someplace safe. Spot speculation. Oh, the control room was locked. Here. Inside the main control room, which was locked shut the entire The one time. place we couldn't check. Delivered today, and I love it so much. I'm glad. Keep up the good work and hope to see more in the future. Six thank Cinder you, thank Six you. Hearts. I didn't have the key, so I could never have gotten inside. That's right. <laughs> We're big brain. I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track. <laughs> If the Trans Management Company, Amiterasu Corporation, was involved, the culprit may have had the key. Yup. And then they hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. Mm -hmm. That's how they got past me. It's so it's fun to be correct. Me. I'm not the culprit. Suffer. <laughs> Work. I call that a critical hit. Thank you. He seems like he's barely standing. All that's left is to finish him off. He <laughs> in the most obvious places too. Yeah, this door that's suspiciously locked and we can't get into. Looks like there's a key. We can't find the key though. <laughs> finish him off. Uh, how do I do that? Shove all of your evidence into the solution plate and slash as hard as you can. Shove it. Oh, she's so hot. Oh my god. She's making me warm. Thrills, chills, kills. It's punishment time! Deduction denouncement. There's 11 chapter... Time to expose this crime. The cheeks and everything. Oh, it was a chapter zero. <laughs> Shit. The deduction den denouement denouement is where the truth is made clear by thinking through all the deductions up until that point. Place the correct piece in the corresponding master? deduction gap to reveal the truth. This could be the clincher. So this is like the, the manga panel. Recap. Locked pieces can be opened by solving mysteries, so keep it up up up. There's only one truth. Once every gap is filled with a piece, Finale revealing all mysteries of the unveiled. Everything has been leading to this moment. <sighs> okay. Not 11 chapters. So. What was used as a red herring? The pillow. Red herring. To break the window. Fire extinguisher. 
Denouement. Is it French? Denouement. Where was the culprit hiding? Did the culprit burn? The plate number? Mm -hmm. uh, what happened after exiting the tunnel? They reattached the car. The car. The car. This one. Attachment? Which body was found last? A bet. Oh, hello. Who is the culprit? Oh, that one's still locked. Hold on, we need we need to put one more down. We we missed one. Yoink, 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 yoink. This one. Where was the copper hiding? Under the bed. Oh, the first time. On the Toronto Express. Knockout drill. Under the bed it is. That was the- oh yeah, the the first one. We're at the first one. Now... Lock. Did I miss him? Wait. Oh, all these! I totally didn't see these. Yuma rushed to the express. And the drugs put them to sleep. What is this X? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is so much easier! Now that we're on the last one, that's fine. We can, uh, deduce the culprit. Mystery unravel. How do you feel about that, huh? Now it's in a nice little manga, nice little picture book for Step you to follow. Right Master detectives slain before their time. And Amaterasu Corporation has master in their sights. Mm -hmm. Truth bombs are about to be dropped. Time for the deduction denouement. Denouement! The incident unfolded aboard the Amaterasu Express, which was on its way to Kanai Ward. I rushed.
pushed onto the train as it was about to depart. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. All because we were fast asleep in the lost and found, Master. If you'd kept snoozing, the case would never be solved. <laughs> The train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and final one was left at the station. And so, the culprit scheme had already begun. Meaning Amaterasu Corporation was involved from the get-go. I mean... The train owned by the same company that you're investigating? That was kind of your first bad move. <laughs> On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. Oh, I miss that them. Was the car. <laughs> Why did they have to go? And the culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. Oh my god, the culprit, who was the first person on the train, so they could prepare in advance and wait for everybody else. I felt unwell, and Melamie went to the trouble of pouring me a coffee. But after drinking it, I started to feel drowsy. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill. But it was actually the drug. <laughs> it was the drug. <laughs> Shitty got me isn't real. Culprit sent me off to car one in order to frame me as the killer. I'm sure the culprit didn't expect you to get sick, Master, but since you look like a super easy target, they probably changed their plan and went after you instead. Mm -hmm. Once I left, the other master detectives must have fallen asleep because of the drugged drinks. The culprit then burned everyone to death. Setting all those it's on fire! On purpose! What a psycho! Yeah, you this creep. is when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. First, they carried Aphex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one. How crazy was it that I picked his name as like the most sus right at the beginning? <laughs> the very first body we found. Then, they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the restroom I was sleeping in. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. Better have someone get inside somehow, or else nobody would find the body. Mm. Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Aphex's charred corpse. Jumping into bed with a charred corpse! And here I thought chivalry was dead! Huh? What a gentleman! I'm actually a little jealous. Knife and cushion created the red herring. Oh, a way to pretend to be dead. Furthermore, the culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. While you were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. The ears weren't real. In case, in case, you know, you're wondering. Fox ears were not real. They must have seen me then and timed it. I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway. Car one was beginning to fill with smoke. Oh, that's some precise timing! I caught a glimpse of something in the room, with a knife lodged in his chest. But it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. That was when the culprit took out Aphex's burnt corpse, switched places with it, and waited for me to enter the room while hiding beneath the bed. It's just like a magic trick. <laughs> magic trick? Feel of smoke. Meanwhile, I found the fire extinguisher on the floor. Smash the window. Unlock the room and went inside. Just like the carpet plan. And that's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. Mm -hmm. After the smoke cleared, I found Zelch's body burnt to a crisp. Or was it? At least, that's what I thought. The charred corpse was actually Aphex. The culprit had me completely fooled. That must be 
why they took the time consuming method of roasting someone to death. Unless the body was about the right size. I bolted out of car one after seeing the corpse. The culprit was under the bar. <laughs> That's so fucking creepy! Ew! They probably left it here from there, watching everything in full like they planned. I went on to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. Around that time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. Controlling the train from there, they detached car one. That caused the blackout and shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup system. Mm -hmm. So when the train shook, was there or was there not jiggling in my glass? Take a guess. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go off on a whim here and say yes. <laughs> While the detached car one was running on a separate track, the culprit went to work. Preparing to disguise car one as car <laughs> This five. game is so self-aware. I fucking love it. <laughs> First, Apex's corpse was carried to the corridor. Excuse me! <laughs> One number plate was burned so that it couldn't be properly identified. With everything in place, the culprit went into the main control room, locked the door, and waited for the train cars to reconnect. Well, this time, the culprit was riding in car one on the other track, right? Yeah, the train which was only cars 2, 3, and 4 at the time, remained on course. Since we were in a tunnel, I didn't even realize car 1 was moving alongside us. Hmm. The train we were on went through the tunnel with only three cars. When it came out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in it attached to car 4. Now behind car 4, that car became car 5. The swap was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system. Right? Technology sure is convenient. Culprit riding in car one, attached it to the back of car four. <laughs> that caused more shaking, but there was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Additional shaking occurred inside my blouse, but the power stayed on. <laughs> Wait, wasn't she a ghost still? She, she wasn't in that form yet. <laughs> Jiggly goat! I mistook car one for car five and walked right in. The culprit wrecked it so much, I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. I figured there'd been some kind of brawl. But that was part of the culprit's plan, wasn't it? Also, no one would realize it was actually car one. I found the corpse. I deduced that it was Aphex from the necklace it had on. But I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. Mm -hmm. The disguised corpse and the car switch completely fooled me. Using a dead body? Oh, this is a despairingly brilliant idea! <laughs> You're starting to sound like somebody else, Shinigami. A despairingly brilliant idea? Hmm, really? In this is absolute despair! It connected to a different, prearranged car one. Hope despair, hope despair. <laughs> and with that, the dream once again had five cars. So much attaching and detaching. What a stupid, crazy, elaborate trick! Peacekeepers were lying in wait at the station. As the sole survivor, I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. Uh huh. And Amateur Rasset was in on it. That really turns me on. That's all it takes. You mean this is me off, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Culprit stayed hidden in the main control room of the disguised car one. And waited for the peacekeepers to haul you in, Master. 
they were right there at the scene. Mm -hmm. After burning all the master detectives, the culprit faked their own death and tried to bring me as the killer. It was a cunning, cold-blooded scheme. Mm -hmm. And the evil doer who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than Catboy. No, Alexander, it was you. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> this is the truth I've uncovered. <laughs> What was that? Is that it? What do you mean? It's been five hours? Five and a half hours? What's this? It's the truth. It's the soul of the true culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. The soul of the true culprit. No, you guys, I was I was chatting for like almost an hour before we started playing. Guys, <laughs> I didn't start the game right away. <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? Yes, the stream has been six and a half hours, but we were not fighting crime and mysteries for that long. <laughs> now it's time for the main event. Uh, barrel time? Here we go. It's my time to shine. Barrel? Oh. An execution? Surging bloodlust. <gasps> Overflowing despair. <gasps> the brilliant soul of Shibani. Shall we sponge this cursed face? It's the fly! I need the wings! I need the wings! I need to make the wings! I'm gonna- you know I'm gonna need to want to make the fucking wings! Yeah, that cosplay goal? Yeah, there's gonna be wings. There's gonna be fucking wings. And I gotta make the scythe with the eyeball. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Can I make the scythe blink? Uh, I'd have to figure out how to work with like servos. Um, it's possible. What? Uh huh. We're back. It might not fit with how what small are you the scythe is. about now? Your spirit shouldn't be broken yet. The peacekeepers will take care of you. We have all the time in the world. Huh? Oh yeah, we froze time. We froze time! And we have our whole argument already! Shinigami! Where are you? Nothing here has changed! What's going on? Shinigami? Are you listening? Get him! Wait! I know who the culprit is! What? <laughs> it's Zilch! He's still alive! He framed me! What are you talking about? He's already dead! Where's his body then? Huh? But Shinigami never existed. Shut up! This is it was the drugs! <laughs> Take him away! Shinigami! Where did you go? This isn't what's supposed to happen! <laughs> I'm right here! Hello! You're so cute when you panic, so <laughs> why head to enjoy the view for a bit? <laughs> 
Stop playing around! I love her! Why hasn't the situation changed at all? He must be hallucinating. <laughs> Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. Take him away! Um, uh, sir, I think what? he's actually right. He's dead! Looks like it's over. True culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. The source perishes? <gasps> Don't tell me. That's right, the true Dex! culprit dies. Then that report saying Zilch, the true culprit was dead. Uh oh. And that solves today's mystery. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. You're now innocent and free to go, master. A happy ending. A roll credits. <laughs> uh, honey. He's just gonna get blamed for that one, too. There's nothing happy about this. Zilch died because I solved the mystery, right? Huh? He was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'm completely free to go. Not even with Zilch being dead. Mm -hmm. In that case, say exactly what I'm about to tell you to that gilded idiot over there. Okay. <laughs> word for word, I'm ready. Okay. Swank, did you just receive a report that Zilch was dead? Hmm. How did you know that? I thought so. <laughs> if he was alive until moments ago, that changes things about this case. Someone who died in front of our, my eyes, was alive. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really happened. Oh. You didn't try to frame an innocent person, did you? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Did you? Huh? You gonna lie to me now? Hmm? What? You think you can weasel your way out of this? I have evidence. You better not forget your Incarni Ward now. You're powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation. Are you threatening me? No, um, I didn't mean. No, you're supposed to stand your ground. <laughs> Surrender so easily, you are so close! That does it! You're under arrest! Sir, your toupee is showing. <laughs> Listen, you got no right to remain silent, and you got no right to call a lawyer. Or your comb over. <laughs> you're <laughs> You're not so subtle, comb over. Take him away! Hold on! Hold on just a second! Hey, excuse me. Do you have a minute? You! Am I gonna fall in love? It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. Uh, we both had to follow orders no. from the higher up, so... No! Let's not do anything that causes unnecessary uh. tension. Oh, uh, no! Falsifying evidence and testimonies is a drag when it comes time to do the paperwork, right? It's tough keeping things consistent. Just forget about all that and leave it to me, yeah? You know, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. We lost her. What? If you let us go, I'll cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. You don't want trouble, right? If the WDO floods this joint because of you. Your punishment might be kind of brutal. So, you know what to do. Leave things Spend well enough alone, down. as they say.
Let's go. He's so smooth. You Yakuza? Oh, thank goodness that worked out. What's your name? Who is he? Beats me? He's like... Better Nagito? <laughs> Sir? Well... You're like... Nagito, Rantaro, and uh, whoever that douchebag was in uh, Despair Girls. All combined. The Toa guy. Hello. I bet that was quite a long trip for you. Welcome to Kanai Ward. He looks homeless? Maybe that's my type. <laughs> The, the like the like tussled hair <laughs> the disheveled look the <laughs> God damn it uh, Hello Thanks Kiss me you bitch <laughs> You must be Yuma Yuma Coco Head right <laughs> Yeah that's me <laughs> I am. And you are? I'm Yako Furio. Yako? <laughs> You're beautiful. That that ray of light shining down. God! Is this an angel? Born and raised in Kanai Ward. Just My guardian a angel? Member of the WDO. I'm the director of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Oh. the only detective agency in Kanai Ward. That's where I'm supposed to be going. My office welcomes you. Nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, thanks. The pleasure is all mine. So he's a detective from the WDO. Finally, I've met an ally. He managed to turn away the peacekeepers, so he must be in high standing. Hmm. Really? He's clearly just some careless middle-aged man. But he has, like, like, swaying power. Oh, by the way, don't tell anyone about yours truly. You might have forgotten, but our secret is included in the contract. It'd be terrible if you broke this rule. To be exact, your whole body would be drained of its blood. Oh. Okay, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Even if you did, they just assume you're some crazy person. They already do, because right now it's like I'm talking to myself. Now, shall we? Yeah, can you hold my hand? I might get lost. Oh, by the way, I like to hear the details about this incident. Uh, right. Uh, did you want to hear it? Do we need to give you two a moment? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It took a while to get through all the proceedings. They practically interrogated you, right? <laughs> Kanai Ward is completely shut off from the outside world. Communication devices such as cell phones are confiscated. Cameras are not permitted to leave Kanai Ward either. Huh? Even if you smuggle something with reception in, Kanai Ward is a dead zone. Thanks to all that tight closure, nobody's using this fancy station at all. Did you Why? say no one? You show a lot of promise, considering how you handled that Amaterasu trouble. Thank you. I was scared, to be honest. I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. Uh, the thing is, the peacekeepers always antagonize detectives. As a basic rule, never look them in the eye. They're always itching for a fight. Kind of like mad dogs. <laughs> I forgot the golden rule. Uh, don't get attached. Don't get attached. Don't get attached. Don't get attached. Uh, right. I'm getting attached. <laughs> Amaterasu Corp doesn't want the unified government or the WDO. It's too late. <laughs> I'm done. So 
Too late I for me. One of them hiring a hitman. A hitman? Oh, is that who that was? They plan to wipe out any master detectives before they enter Kanai Ward. He was a hitman? Fox boy? Zilch? Hitman? The result of which is this Amaterasu Express Massacre. So Zilch was actually a hitman? Nope. There was a real master detective named Zilch. He was murdered beforehand and used as a disguise. Mm. You were in the first car earlier. The real Zilch is laying dead somewhere in there. What? There was another body. There was a separate first car at the station before you arrived where Zilch's body was hidden. <laughs> what? Then, the four train cars that you rode in would arrive at the station in Kanai Ward. And connect with the fake first car. That makes a total of five dead master detectives at Kanai Ward's platform. With no master detectives left, you would be arrested as the only culprit. Hmm. That was the plan. They would go to such lengths? Absolutely. Even though the plan didn't work, we still lost five master detectives. I wanted to see... I wanted to see all their all their abilities in action. Hmm. Given the situation, I'm honestly surprised you survived, Yuma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all thanks to me. You're so lucky to be haunted by yours truly. Wait, if there was a real Zilch, then the number of people on board the Amaterasu Express... Including me, that makes six people. The numbers still don't add up. Yeah, wait. I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... Precisely five. Oh, I'll explain that later. Oh, there's an explanation. Anyway, let's leave this place. Wouldn't want to give the peacekeepers any ideas. He's so cool. It's raining. <gasps> hey, you're right. Rain code. <laughs> There's the rain. So pretty. Is that the missing car? <laughs> Who's that guy? There's Naruto running out of the car. Beats me. <laughs> You're not even gonna. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who's the little gremlin? That was chapter zero. The tutorial chapter. Chapter I zero. See. Once the culprit is boom killed, you'll get rewarded based on how well Master did inside the mystery labyrinth. Are you? Gonna remember all of this? You'll get a reward for each overall rating between SS to C. Not only do you get a reward for the rating you receive, but every rating below it. So try shooting for the top. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not bad for my first time. <laughs> Let's save.
Great start, thank you. Mm, so, um, I mean, I'm assuming it's gonna be very different from Danganronpa, but if they're following like the similar format, uh, Danganronpa usually has six chapters. So, do what you will with that information. <laughs> Prologue and You're gonna... Hello? H hello? There we go. <laughs> You're gonna have to find out what happens next... Next time! <laughs> As a next time... That's tomorrow. So don't worry. You won't have to wait too long. <laughs> I know it was good, but we've been going for a while. So next time I will probably uh, just start right away to give us more time. Um, so make sure you're here right when the stream starts. Okay, I'll be starting it around the same time as the stream today, if you were here since the beginning. In fact, why don't I talk about what, what I'm gonna be up to just so you guys are up to date. And you know, you know what was gonna be going on, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So tomorrow, also at 6 p.m. Eastern, I am going to be playing more Rain Code. We're gonna be starting chapter one. I'm not sure how far we're gonna get. We'll probably play through at least one chapter, if not two, depending on how long it takes. But the chapters tend to run approximately the same length. Um, and past, past, Style, similarly styled games, yeah? And then I'm taking a day off on Wednesday. Then, but wait, there's more. We've got some collabs, yeah! <laughs> so Thursday, um, all my streams are gonna be starting at the same time every day this week, just so you know, 6 p.m. Eastern, okay? It's also posted in the Discord server if you guys want to take a look at it. So join my Discord server. Mm -hmm. So Thursday, I'm gonna be collabing Cinder with, Six Heart. with Miss Bao. We're gonna be playing Played Up, so it's gonna be very chaotic. And we're probably gonna be yelling at each other and doing lots of screaming. So <laughs> I'm gonna be hanging out with Bao. And it's gonna be a lot of fun cooking and running a restaurant with her. <laughs> And then the next day, on Friday, I'm going to be doing more arts and crafts. We're going back to cosplay, so I'm going to be working on my VTuber friends' cosplay accessories to give to them. Mm -hmm. Then on Saturday, last day of the week, I'm going to be collabing with Tricky to celebrate after her debut. She will be debuting on Wednesday, that is why I'm not streaming on Wednesday. I'm going to be over on her debut stream supporting her. And then a few days after on Saturday, we're gonna be playing Power Wash Simulator together. So it's mostly gonna be a chatting stream with some comfy, satisfying power washing gameplay. <laughs> so we're just gonna be hanging out, probably talking about our debuts to be honest, and whatever else. She's always been really easy to talk to. So it's gonna be a fun week filled with more mystery, more collabs, and more crafting which I, I hope you guys will enjoy. It's gonna be an awesome week. It's gonna be really comfy, really fun, and with friends. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad you guys enjoyed your time here. So with that, I'm going to send you off. Speaking of Bao, why don't we go say hi? <laughs> Let's go raid Bao, she's playing Genshin. I'm definitely getting Doctor and Rain Co tomorrow. Mm. Got to sleep. See you guys next stream. Hell yeah. So I will uh, most likely be playing through the whole entirety of Raincode on stream. 
So keep that in mind if uh, you'd rather just watch me play it for the whole story, if you want to experience it yourself, that's entirely up to you. Uh, it's pretty much a one and done sort of game. There's not much a uh, replay value because it's the same mysteries and solutions. So uh, if you want to see my journey, then feel free to tune into my Raincoat streams. I'm really, really excited to see how the game progresses and what the next mysteries are going to be in the same ending. Yeah, exactly. So thank you guys so, so much for an awesome stream. Hop on the raid to go support Bao playing Genshin. I had a lot of fun playing it with you guys earlier, so I'm sure you guys will have a nice, fun, comfy time with her playing the game. Take care, you guys. I will see you tomorrow at the same time. Uh, yeah. Bye, guys. Have fun with Belle. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>